Okay. Uh, um, if can, uh, the if the stream can hear our voices, hear let's play D and D, everybody. Yeah. You know what? We're not even gonna do an intro. Fuck it. It's working. Let me switch the screen to our game. And and oh right, then I have to be on camera too. That's a whole thing. Oh, and I have to open Fantasy Grounds. See, this is another. <laughs> it's one thing at a time, everybody. <laughs> All right, we're going to play. Welcome to Saturday Customer Service, everyone. Well, I can uh, at least give a, a refresher since it's been about two weeks, right? Right, yeah. right? Right. I'm just checking the sound on the stream. That's why I'm doing that. <laughs> okay, it sounds good. <laughs> I don't want to be talking for 10 minutes and then it's not going out and I have to say it all over again. So welcome to Rob Tui's Twitch stream. We are streaming uh, Rhyme of the Frostmaiden, Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. I am Drake, and uh, I will be DMing the game tonight, uh, as usual. Uh, we have uh, five players. Uh, one of them slacking a little bit, and that's mm -hmm. our host. But uh, mm -hmm. we'll get to him last as we do character introductions. Uh, Marbanya, why don't you tell us a little bit about Quaid? Uh, Mark Ben, you're here, and I'm playing Quaid. I'm one of the, uh, uh, icy assholes here in the north, the AARPG group. Um, Quaid is, uh, deciding that he's, he's like lost part of his memory. He knows he wasn't from here, wasn't sure how he got here, ended up in a really freaking cold place, and, um, uh, all of a sudden he's got like, he's been dealing with like these voices and shit and he realizes there's like some archway that's got a hold of him and uh he dabbles in started out dabbling in sorcery but like he's made some pact with uh with the archway to like get his ass out of here and get him home well then kind of find out he might not want to go home because he's starting to find out maybe he might like have people looking for him or something back there so hmm how about uh, Spinster? Why don't you uh, tell us about Obsidian? Obsidian is a juggling human, and he has found out that uh, his various attachments to the weave somehow, uh, even though he's not a wizard or a sorcerer or a warlock. Um, I think he's the only one who's not a warlock in this party um, because they're all losers. Uh, but he just wants to get warm. That's his goal in life. And he keeps going north. I don't, I don't get it. He keeps going. <laughs> um, Diablo Bob playing Bill. Hi, I'm Bill. I gotta check my new headset that uh, Rob got me. Sweet. Look at that. Hope that look at that. Works. Uh, you know, you make it look <laughs> small. Your big old head. <laughs> he does. <laughs> uh, you know, the, these are the same <laughs> headphones that Drake is wearing, that I'm wearing, that Matt Akiri is wearing, that Rob <laughs> is wearing. And look at the size on that, the head on that fucker, man. Let me uh, just explain this. I'm playing Bill. Fuck you. <laughs> He wears a size nine hat. Not quite, actually. <laughs> that was close. That was close. And uh, did you did you want to introduce your character? Is that it? That's all you got. Yeah, he, he's Bill. Um, he's Bill. Apparently, he uh, is so messed up that his character sheet uh, needs to be rearranged. And uh, he's a half orc paladin. And um, yeah. You know, I'm when I get that. in my uh, I get in my Explorer, there's two buttons I can push if that adjust the seat to the proper level, and then somebody else could have the second setting. So we should come out with the uh, default setting on your character sheet, and then your customized setting. That's an extension. Get on it, guys. Come on, come on. Or they're they're thinking about it. They're all thinking about it. Mm -hmm. uh, Matakiri playing Grunt. What's up? Yeah. So Grun is a human who is orphaned here in the north. 
so he's lived here for a bunch of his life and uh, did not have a happy childhood being abandoned and orphaned um, and uh, decided to make a pact with Asmodeus uh, to give him a little more power. And uh, that led him to developing a imp uh, as his familiar. And uh, he's gotten to be fairly friendly with Yix, more friendly with Yix than with the rest of this party. Uh, but uh, he does uh, enjoy blowing shit up. That's kind of really what gives him joy in life. <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> Fire. Uh, and then last but not least, Rob playing Zazzy. Yeah. Zazzy. Rob too, he's Zazzy. He is a... Uh... Uh, Obsidian will be happy to remember a full cleric. Uh, he doesn't have any warlock in him. Uh, and you guys thought I forgot, but I didn't. He is also an ass, MR. Uh, I will do that joke for the rest of the campaign every single time. I will never forget. Uh, he's also a Zentar Amazian. And uh, what I have never revealed before is the next time we get in trouble in battle, uh, and the DM doesn't even know this, is that uh, Zazzy is... A god in disguise. He's just playing with the mortals. Uh, but next time when we get in a big fight, I'm just gonna wave my hand and it's gonna DM's gonna go, "Yep, everybody's, it's fine. All the monsters are dead." So that's what nobody knew until this point. As a matter of fact, to be honest, I quite didn't even know that at the beginning of this sentence. And thank you to Madakiri and Diablo Bob for the resubs on the stream. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. Um. All right, so uh, last session, uh, you guys uh, have been traversing the ga the caves of hunger uh, inside of uh, the glacier up in the northern end of the planet. And uh, you came across some, well, there's one-eyed creatures called again. Uh, one of the guys you talked to, the one-eyed. One-eyed one horn. Penis? Nothix. Nothix, yeah, the Nothix. Well, he's the one-eyed wonder worm. <laughs> the Nothix told you that uh, that they were following some uh, some dark elves, some drow or dro or however you like to say it. Uh, but they didn't they, they they didn't follow them all the way, and and they went this direction that you guys are heading. So you guys moved up here, and uh, you were attacked by uh, a whole bunch of icicles some popsicles were beating you guys up and uh and you you finish up the popsicles and then at the end of that uh there was a a drow that popped his little head out and i don't remember who beat him up but he's pretty beat up like mac mars got three if red dots four there red was dots something about a, a pig pig and marbenia summoned a boar. Yeah, a boar. He, yeah. I ran him off this way. He's he's running over here somewhere. He's the yeah. bee. He's yeah, he's the bee. bee. The bee and the boar and the bee boar. He better over be. here. And uh, we did stop uh, mid round. Obsidian, Bill, Grun, and uh, Yix had already gone because uh, if you guys remember correctly, Yix is the only one that could see this guy. But he certainly can describe him. Oops. What's going on? There it is. This guy. Captain Morgan. Yeah, that's a barrel of rum right there. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he, uh, it's his, actually his turn. And uh, he is going to cast a spell. Hmm. Does he have to? Yeah. Oh. And uh, suddenly, um, coming from this direction, you guys see a uh, a rolling green mist starts filling the chamber. Well, isn't that special? <laughs> it gets bigger <laughs> and bigger. <laughs> And the, that's why we turned you down and starts <laughs> moving uh starts moving this direction slowly creeping as we get 
I heard it creeping. Uh, let's see what's going to happen. Oh, God. Yellow green fog spreads around corners. It lasts for a while. And Grun, you are now um, blind. You have the blinded condition as this thing rolls over you. Okay. And uh, let's see. And the first time you guys, anyone starts their turn, when the creature enters the spell area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there. We got to make a constitution save and throw. So, uh, and uh, did you say it's obscuring? Yeah, it's heavily obscuring. So, if you're in that area, you are considered blinded. Um, I'm doing something behind the scenes real quick. Let's go, Jeffrey Tubin. Let's move it along. Move it along. <laughs> move it along. Does anybody get that joke? No. Jeffrey Tubin was the guy that got fired from whatever newspaper he works at because he was jacking off on a Zoom meeting. And he didn't know. He didn't. Oh, he, he worked. Uh, he was a, a, a commentator for or a consultant for CNN interviews sometimes. And he worked for the New York something or the Washington mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Yep. And uh, I think it was like intentionally he was doing that. It wasn't like he got caught. <laughs> so forgot he was. I think he just whipped it out and said, hey, people look at this. <laughs> when Drake said he was doing something behind the scenes, you know, that's the first thing I think of. Bachika, wow, wow. Quaid, what are you gonna do? Are you, uh, well, you don't even I, see this thing. No, I don't. I don't. I hear noises and shit. I'm not sure what I'm hearing. I know there was icicles falling all over the ground uh, at one time. Um, so I guess the best I can do is kind of start to move forward to here. That'd be twenty to get a look at what the hell's going on. I still don't see anything. 2530 and uh I'll tell you what I'm going to I'm going to ready uh an eldritch blast a uh, ready spell an eldritch blast cantrip if I see anything hostile coming into my range what about a big green cloud of gas is that is it uh, I, it's incorporeal, incorpore, incorporeal, and yeah, you don't it's think a, it's a, uh, it's uh, aluminium, uh, and I can't, don't know if I can target it. What's your boar gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna send him over there to see just how bad this shit is. He got a 40 foot range. You gonna run this way? Watch around the corner, <laughs> boar. Oh, wait. Well, as soon as he enters the area, he's got to get his constitution saving throw. He's he's healthy, uh, man. Let's don't turn him into ham yet. Bacon. Oops. I need to hot bar this or something. Also can't hear that. Uh, thank you to Scubus Sundries for subbing to the stream. Thank you so much. Even though I didn't hear the I saw it, but I didn't hear it. Can't hear Sirenscape either. So there's that. You no, know, I'm just going to do it this way real quick. Make it her turn, open it up, and grab the stupid thing right here. So he needs to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, why isn't that working? There it goes. Uh, which he fails, so he takes some poison damage. He did. There you go. So he's like, ee, 
<laughs> and you see just like <laughs> it just starts foaming and falls over and twitches and uh, almost immediately dies like that. as he goes in there. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to take him out. No, I'm going to leave his dead ass carcass there so you guys can trip over him. <laughs> So, so uh, Valen's like, oh, what, what is all that squealing? Is Ned Beatty alive again? <laughs> wow! <laughs> You've been dead a week and you're already on Ned Beatty. Oh, too, too soon, soon, too soon, too soon. Too soon. <laughs> as, uh, as she moves up and she kind of she kind of looks around the corner, she says, that doesn't look in- interesting. Uh, is it coming this way? Uh... <laughs> It's creeping. Yeah, and then uh, I think she's gonna. I think she's gonna back up again. She's like, maybe we should uh, get out of its area. And she can't cast gust of wind or anything like that. So try to stop it. I guess there's one icicle still alive. Do we do we know where it is? I don't see it. No, I don't. They're probably right over Quaid's head. I don't know where it's at either, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna delete it. Well, why don't we have a initiative stuck again? Hold oh, on, it's I'm, me. It's Sazzy's turn, but I, I need to uh, like stuck. Oh well. All right, I'm gonna come up to here. Well. Yeah, no, here. And I will ready a cantrip, uh, which you all know as Hole of the Dead, if I see any baddies that I don't like uh, come around, you know, in, in the area. So let me signify that and pass my turn. Yix. Uh, who? So he's going to need to. Is he immune to poison? Yes. Oh, so it doesn't matter to him. He's uh, like, shh. He's like, th- wow. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. I like this. <laughs> He's getting Makes my voice deep. Uh, he's going to stay right there and uh, kind of call to Grun, provide uh, directions for Grun. Uh, well, he's in a heavily obscure too, so he cannot see either. <laughs> oh, he'll- so Step he needs up. to, yeah, he can move out. Yeah, he's like, oh, that, that's better. Fix your eyes, water. I was supposed to go to Yix. He's doging. Obsidian, uh, you can see this green cloud starting to creep closer to you. Focus my chi and... Uh... Wait and see what else is going. What the rest of the party is doing. Focus your um, Okay, Jeffrey Tubin. Do you have invisibility on Yix? Yes. Not his. Uh, this this drow. She's gonna step around and. Gonna... Oh, I hear something. I bet you it's that imp. Yix flips her off. <laughs> and uh, she rises up uh, a hand crossbow and shoots it at him. <laughs> and that misses. <laughs> goes flying into the cloud behind her. <laughs> Bitch. Can't hide forever. And 
McQuaid. So quiet without the door, the 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 bicycle bell. Yes, it is. Hmm. <laughs> I really don't have any way to, like, circumnavigate that shit and get around there. And I'm, I started to holler at, yeah, at Valley and say, and, and and say, you know, take off your depends and put your big girl panties on. But she might be right. We might <laughs> like need to retreat from here. Uh, and for she's a bit. she's pretty wounded too. So you know. Ah shit. Uh, Maybe if we had a cleric or oh, yeah, uh, uh, I am going to cast if I don't think I've got it on me. Oh, I do for six more rounds. Shadow Blade. Damn it! I need something to hit. Um, I'm not moving any closer to that. I'm going to take the dodge action. No, I'm just going to. I'm going to continue to ready a spell. If I see something hostile, I'm shooting it with a Eldritch Blast. Heels a bit Delambra, size double D. Bra. Or, or, Hawaiian. It's one of the two. Bra. So, uh, the, uh, male drow uh, casts <laughs> a <male> spell. <laughs> Let's just be honest. And, oh, actually, all of them are, are male drills, but the one with the staff in the back, uh, it, 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 it doesn't quite look like a, a spell, but uh, Yix suddenly uh, gets uh, real nervous as uh, he feels that one of his uh, hated enemies uh, just appears in front of him. And it looks like uh, like this. Whoa. And goes. <laughs> and that's all I can do. It, it actually gets the Estoril initiative, so. And... Velen Harple, she's gonna also uh, uh, take the dodge action currently. She's like, "There's nothing coming this way." The other drow, he is gonna pop up next to his uh, his counterpart there, and they they say something uh, in their hand signally language they got, and. Uh, and this one's going to step up and take a swipe with a short sword at where he thinks Yix is at over there, where Yix could only be, unless he's in the in the poison, and takes a swipe at, uh, at him with his short sword. Should have disadvantage, yep. And miss clings off the wall, uh, a multi-attack, two short sword attacks, nice. You have reach. Wipe he, at him again. Yeah, is he next to you? Do this. What do you mean? Well, he's ten feet away. Let like me see. Ten foot away. Uh, I got him right in this square on my screen. Oops, dragging the map around. Uh, yeah, right but there. Yix is two squares yeah. over. Here. Oh, not that it matters, but. Yeah. Um, we'll just say he tried to shoot at him with the crossbow because I meant to do that as well. Turn on that. Oh, so that guy's so, yeah. there. Okay, holy mother. Yeah, cow. that's why I didn't move him there. Grun, uh, you got to make a constitution saving throw. Um, okay. Um, hold I can... on. Let me see. I am going to use my Dark One's own luck 
on this saving throw. So go ahead and. Oh no, let me get down to the thing. Okay, there it is. A success, nice. and let's see, I think, is it half? And half, okay, yes. Yeah, so you only take half of this. Just double check, and it does clearly say on his indicator extension half damage on the map there, and it has not been wrong yet. I haven't seen it wrong yet. You absorbed it all. Oh, you did. <laughs> And you made your concentration check. So, uh... so Grun doesn't know that this demon here. We well, passed my turn. Oh, sorry. What kind of? What kind of? Crap? Well, <laughs> so Grun doesn't know that all these people are lined up because uh, he can't see. But so he's going to go right where Yix was calling him. Can you move him to Yix's spot? And lay down the lightning. Uh, not quite close though. Ah, uh, yeah. He's gonna lay down the fireball. And um, how do you know where to put that fireball? I out of the cloud. Yix came out of the cloud, and I went onto Yix's space because he's tiny, and I can be in the same space. Right, no, I understand that, but you, you've never even seen this area over here. You have no clue what it looks like, and you're you targeting a fireball? You can see it now. You cannot. Yeah. Oh, you did move yeah. it outside of it. Okay, I got you. That's cool. The whole, yeah. Uh, I got all of them targeted. So, have at the... Damn, a lot of successes. Damn. How about the... <laughs> he dropped one of the... Uh... Yep, I'm going to give myself some temporary hit points. Thank you. Uh, Dark. You haven't left. been doing that, have you? <laughs> I, I haven't. I've been watching for it, but it hasn't come up all that often recently. Um, Grunt. Grunt tends not to like get in the thick of combat. I haven't really remembered you doing it too much. And for the most part, you... Even you, you've been maintaining the ten temporary oh, hit points. Check and shit. So that was my action, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all I'm going to be able to do. Bill. All right. Um, so, question: I received a charm of lightning bolt. When I click on it to try to read it. Uh, it says I need to have the Icewind Dale GM module loaded. Is it a action or a bonus action to use? Uh, is that on your inventory? Yeah, he got he got that when I was playing his character last time. Right. Uh, he added it to my actions, but on your actions. Should be in the inventory as well. Oh, unless it's not an item. It was a. It's not an item. No, it was though. a it was single a... use thing. Oh yeah. Okay. It, it does say item, charm of lightning bolt. That was from that dryad that we ate the it's fruit. It's under my actions section. Yeah, it's like you know four pages long, so I'm just trying to find it on there. Is it at the top in the middle? A little... No, I added a. Oh, there it is. Charm, Charm of Lightning Bolt. All right. So I just wanted to open it so I can see what it does. Uh, so, what yeah, is... casting time, one action, self, 150 foot line. Uh, a stroke uh, of lightning. You... Yeah, you, you're, you're doing the S100 that I added. There's item Charm of Lightning Bolt. Down like four. There. Oh. This charm allows you to cast the lightning bolt spell, save DC 15 as an action, no components required. Once you use the charm, vanishes from you.
as an action, you said? Uh, yeah, as an action. Okay. Bob, you cool. should have been able to open that by clicking on the, the you know, the spell now coding. I now I can. For some reason, it was saying that I couldn't do it because the module, DM module, wasn't loaded. Because it's not, it doesn't know, link to the DM module, it links to the player module. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to open it. It, it wasn't letting me open it. <laughs> Maybe okay, since I, I did it, it it uh, did. Yeah, I think I think it's loaded. I don't think that's how that works, but okay. It, it wasn't letting me do it. I don't okay, think that's cool. how it's supposed to work, but it seemed like it did. Fair enough. So I guess um, this cloud is rolling in. Can I see through the crack here? See through the crack. Yeah, there's. Can like you a see? Little... Uh no, those that's those that 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 stuff is uh already moving down. Um, like a nice, okay. like a nice. So it's it's opaque. Gotcha. It's heavily obscured area. Yes, I can't see. It. All right. Um. I guess I will just ready a uh, Eldritch Blast as soon as I can see someone. Um, because I can't see on the other side of that cloud. I have no clue how big it is. Zazzy. Zazzy is going to move over to Valerie Harper. And then eventually back after he does this. Oh, and let me put it on play. That's why. Give her a fourth level cure wounds. That's right. Whoa. She's like, you have mighty warm hands. I, I like it when you touch me. That's how I do it. Uh, Well, okay. So that is not what I intended <laughs> to do. Um, that's the level one. <laughs> yeah, but I I clicked the I clicked the thing and then I went to right click it to add the dice and it like did that thing where it freezes the icon and then it if uh, fuck anyway. So let me just roll an additional three d eight and we'll add it in. Uh, so please give her twelve more hit points. Uh, let's see where she at. Uh... She should only be she has 27, 15. so she has 13. Oops. It's 15, but Damn whatever, it. that's fine. 13's okay. That's why I said it out loud. 515, 515 wounds. wounds. She's dead. She's dead. Okay. And then that's uh, and my then... turn because I can't do anything else. So since one of them is dead, is he the one casting the spell? So is it gone now? No, the spell is still there. So is Gruen relaying any information he sees or doing? I'm going to use my um, elemental attunement, and I'm going to uh, cause a little puff of flame to show up inside this cl in this cloud uh, to see if it's flammable. <laughs> see if it's methane and stuff. It is not flammable, but a uh, good try. Good try. Yes, yeah, fireball. <laughs> I'm just going to move a little closer. Get a little closer, closer. See that? I feel a little better. I think I'm going to stick next to you. <coughs> the, bow, the wheels on the bus go round and round. Quaid. 
the wheels on the bus go <laughs> <Shut around. laughs> Classic. Uh, the cloud doesn't seem to be moving, does it? It does, very slowly. Uh, it moves 10 feet per round. So... And it hasn't so had have, a turn yet. And it hasn't oh, had it a turn has. yet. Oh, because I've had a turn since then. And I didn't well, welcome to it. rerolling initiative every round. Ah, ha ha. No, Maybe don't because... delete token. Cancel move. Fucking delete token as a player. <laughs> what bullshit? <laughs> Why? Why should the player be able to delete that, his own absolutely. token? I have no. Yeah. I, I can't possibly think of why a player would ever want to do that. Come on, damn it! Move right there. Anybody? Yeah. No. Right over. No, I can't think of any reason. Uh, I'm gonna go right there and again, uh, ready a spell because like I ain't Anybody? going to that cloud. Anybody? No. Ready a uh, Eldritch Blast for hostile targets. All right, Yix. Um... Yix is going to uh, distract the Shadow Demon. Might and... be a good idea. Might be a good idea. Concentration, concentration, concentration. Let's see, what does she have? It's not. She's like. She has nothing that. Oh. You can use a first level spell. And she's going to cast Magic Missile at Grun. Uh, so three missiles come whizzing around above everyone's head and slam into Grun. So. <laughs> um, does concentration get knocked off because of damage? Yeah. And you didn't actually technically take damage because you absorbed them. Is that is that true? How, how does that get? We got a couple DMs in here. What, I wonder your thoughts on that. Ask again. I say since Fantasy Grounds did it, we should roll with it. That's how I. That's how <laughs> that's I say. That's how I've been playing it. What yeah, that's how I've always played it. So. Well, he didn't actually take damage because damage. he had temporary hit points. Or did he take damage and they were absorbed and he still has to roll well, a concentration check? Previous, temp previous hit things? Temp, if, so you previous take, games. if you take if you take damage and it and it uses temp hit points, you still took damage. Yeah, so you still got to roll yes, a, con however, a concentration there are some, not a shield. So in the uh, previous or previous episodes of Icewind Dale, uh, you have ruled that if I received uh, damage that only took 10 pin points, I could not use Hellish Rebuke. Oh, well, I mean, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, then. I guess you gotta go the same... You know what, guys? I don't even know what that means, that phrase. <laughs> I don't know what that means either. No, no. What does that mean? It's, what does it, that it, have turn, to do with this? Fair play. You, gotta, you, know, you gotta be consistent. If you do it for one, you can't not, then say... It goes the other way if it's not to your advantage. You know what I mean? Or Does he anybody... can just work on and say from order, now in... forward. He can... <laughs> Quoting Drake, anyone? Anyone? Oh, I see what you're saying. So you're saying that the temporary hit points don't actually do the damage. That you don't take you're damage just... with temporary hit points. You pools of hit points. You still take damage. So you do everything that you would do if, as if you had taken damage. It's just taking off from the temp pool rather than the main point pool. Yeah, it's like somebody gave me a shot of steroids in the ass right before you took so, it. And it, it. So you know. I'm going to retcon what I said earlier then, <laughs> Diablo Bob, and you can use your your reaction. Nice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> What's and, all this about uh, a steroid? What happened, Marbany? I don't know what happened. Yeah, Marbany probably doesn't know either. He just... <laughs> you know. And 
And that's going to happen. And the Shadow Demon is going to attack Grunt. Uh, Law? The hit. Let's see. The demon can't hide from Gron because he has devil sight, right? Mm hmm. So he cannot have advantage, so he's only going to do this much damage. 10 points as he claws at you. Six. Well, 10, but you absorb some. <laughs> Bill. All right. Bill's healing. You can hear some, some fighting and some hissing and some noise going on over there, but you can't see anything. So Bill's going to yell, uh, hey, Gruen, you need any help? Uh, it would be nice. Got one All more right. trick on my sleeve. They come over here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. I forgot to move the cloud. You guys will probably change what you want to do here in a second. Uh, hold on. Let me move the cloud 10 feet. Five? Come on. Why didn't it move? Oh, there it goes. So. Like that. Okay. So since I started my turn in the cloud, then do I have to do anything? Yeah, on the start of your turn, you got to make a constitution saving throw. Let me uh, let me grab her. I will use my okay. inspiration to make it an advantage. All right, go ahead and click that. And here comes oh. your save. And you failed. Help. <laughs> So you're going to take some poison damage. And it's your turn. Okay, so he's going to be coughing and pissed off because of all the poison clouds and wondering who the hell let one, ripped one loose. And he's going to start heading towards Grim. All right, you're also considered blind. blind. Yeah. Well, I knew which direction uh, he was in. Well, you run into Grun when you get... Uh, oops. That's the token stacked. I'll put Yix over here so we can see him. So you run, run into in. Grun. Did he trip over the pig? Uh, I guess you would <laughs> run into Grun here. <laughs> Did he trip over the pig? Well, uh, since uh, Grun is 30 feet away, couldn't I step into his square temporarily? Why? Because I also have um, a way to move without movement. I can misty step, so basically step into Grun's square, cast a spell, or use an ability, like attack, and then misty step. Bonus action, Misty Step, uh, yep. to a space that you can see. From where Grun is, yeah. From where Grun's at, yeah. So where are you, what space do you want to teleport to? Uh, let's see here. Probably to there. Or, 5, 10, sorry. 15, 20. There, like on the other side of the drow. Um, okay, and 
from there, he is going to... Uh, so he sees the Shadow Demon, and he says, sees Maladron, and he's going to attack Maladron. Uh, I don't know if he does see the Shadow Demon. Uh, you have to... I have Devil's Light, too. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody keeps forgetting that. Hellock. It's broken as hell. That's a hit. And you can about imagine what I'm about to do. Battle axe to the back of the drow. He he didn't even know you were there, Harley. You like teleported behind him. It's like, ow! 24 hey, points of damage. Second attack. And he bats oh. it away. <laughs> Fuck. Ooh, nasty. Uh, I don't if, like it. Uh, <laughs> nasty. All right. What? Anything else? Oh, that's it. So what happened? Wait, <laughs> nasty, but you didn't tell us anything. Um. Oh, that's right. This is not the my my normal tables. This. Is, uh. Okay. On my other tables, I did away with the uh, the actual effects, but not on not on this one. Um, Bill suffers two levels of exhaustion. Ow. No, you don't have to tell us that. <laughs> <laughs> Concur. Uh, do you, two can levels you, of you can put those on yourself. Yeah, so yeah. I will uh, you make the it. player do it. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Go uh, ahead, Zazzy. He, he doesn't right. have anything to do for a whole round. He's exhausted. Um. Okay, so Zazzy's going to move back up here to this to to here mm -hmm, right there and then he right. is going to re-ready toll of the dead if any oh, you got hung up i got hung up somehow right yeah there? he's gonna re-ready right? toll of the dead if any uh ne'er-do-wells get out here in the open where i can see them so i shall apply that ass a turn Meldrin is going to uh, drop her hand, his hand crossbow, and draw out his short sword. I think he had his hand sure crossbow out, didn't that? he? In melee with you now, and then going to try to stick you with his uh, with his short sword. Uh, Bill, which he does, he succeeds through the first one, and uh, it tastes a little coppery. Like, hmm, there's some goop on it. You will uh, go ahead and Hellish rebuke his ass. Say again. I will Hellish rebuke his ass. Go ahead. He succeeds. But uh, well, you you had the wrong guy. To, oh, at dead. Yeah, at Meldrin and Meldrin. he has two targeted. You so you so you nuked the dead guy Sorry. a little bit more. <laughs> What's that burning he's smell? Burning. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's gonna stick you with it or try to stick you with his second attack with his short sword. And hits. Doing another 13 Ow. points of damage. And uh, he's going to move down to there. Bill's not looking too good. Grun! His last spell point, spell slot. And I'm going to attempt to cast Banishment on the Shadow Demon. Mm -hmm. Uh, you got, uh, wait, you got two people targeted. Nope. The Shadow, Shadow Demon, Demon did fail, fail though. <laughs> uh, let me glance at Banishment real quick, just to check something. 
I believe the entire spell's description oh, cool. reads, you're fucked. Oh, it might have It has more. to return to its home plane, I think. Faint popping noise. One ball exploded. All right, so you need to put concentration on yourself because yep. you need to concentrate on that. Yeah. Ooh, Meldrin gets to go first in the next round. Uh oh. But the Shadow Demon is and... not there, right? It's gone. Yeah, the Shadow Demon is... Let me word for the Shadow Demon go. The Shadow Demon is currently in a, uh, in a Demi pocket. Actually, it's on its home plane, I think. Yeah, Added it goes to a different plane of existence. Plane. Yep. Oh, yeah, to return. So it's like... In Avernus. Eating... Yeah, it's like... it's like No, it's a demon. It's not in Avernus. Uh... Well, it could be. It could be on the front yeah. lines. Yeah, on the front lines. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> but no, shit. he's from. He's not from the nine, nine, nine hells. It wouldn't be its home plane. Yeah, Meldrin is going to use his short sword on uh, on Bill and see if he can get a stick. That is a miss, and then again on the short sword, another miss. Damn. Your short is so your your sword is short, sir. It is short, Quaid. It's just an inch. He can't even reach you. He scans a tank. Quaid. Yeah. Um. So Quaid bails off into this shit. And I hear any yelling going on. Uh, are you immune to poison? I'm not immune to poison, but I didn't start my turn in it either. So, uh, or the first time you enter it. First time you enter it. Well, then I'll have to have a. Uh, I don't think I'm immune to. But no, no, I am immune to cold. Ooh, I don't have inspiration. I'm going to give myself inspiration. And I will use that inspiration for saving throw. <laughs> All right, go and ahead. I'm, I'm I'm running until I get out of the cloud. I don't know. I can't really tell where that cloud ends back in here. Uh, I, I'm just going to see if you, uh, the first, when you first enter it, how much damage you take, and then I will pass your turn. Well, but I'll he's still got, movement, he's, I mean. yeah, because he's got more movement. Right, but as soon as he enters it, he has to make a save, so I'm trying to finish that first. I, I'm not sleeping, Bane, I'm just leaning back in my chair so everybody can see my Seinfeld logo. So you have your uh, advantage on, yes. Uh, it won't let me do it. I have to actually release your movement before I can. That's what I said to my prom date. So you succeed. You're only going to take half damage. And you're blind. I'm still blind? Yeah. Even though I succeeded. Uh, because you're in the heavily obscured area. I said I was going to continue running, though. So, right, right. Finish right. your movement, then. So where are you going to okay, end up? Okay, so I'm dashing, and I guess I kind of bump into him here. And yeah. And dash Check. through him. Do I see? Can I see now? Oh, uh, so, yeah, I'm now you can see. Into that position. I'll step into that position right there, and that's really about all I can do. Gern Blanston. Oh, that one's dead. It just popped up when I passed my turn. Five, ten, fifteen. Shit, it comes another. Uh, 
uh, I think she's going to give some Ray of Frost love on Bill. Shield. Bill! Um, so. You, you can't tell what this is. Bane, you, don't, you can't so read that? Where is Yilsa Bay? To your uh, west. She, she went that way. So she could see me? She could. When she blasted you with Ray of Frost. But they can go through the wall? Yeah, what the fuck? See here now? She she moved here, and then she shot at you. Oh, so she and then she, she came went out that way. Road. Got it. Cool. <laughs> it's um, not that difficult. I was right, just, let's just calm down. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just everybody relax. I was like, I don't see who hit, who who attacked you, but okay. Yeah, I saw her when um, she was there. Party so what I'm gonna do? Oh, well, not on party vision. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cast Hunter's Mark on this Meldrin bastard. Bonus action. Now I'm going to uh, explain to him that you know he needs to use something a little bit more significant than a short sword. Oh. Something like this. Just a regular hit. For fun, I will go ahead and smite that. Yeah, you so might as well throw thing. extra extra money on there to get the extra. Good Holy God. shit! Throw extra money on take. it. What? <laughs> but doesn't that cost what? a spell slot to do that? That might have been a waste. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's worth it. He hurt. Good my, lord! It splattered like, yeah. all over me. Actually, he only he only exceeded by eight, so I don't mm. know. He wouldn't have probably died. Yeah. Mm. Right, sure. And with that, damn, uh, forty three points of damage. Can you describe how this looks? I mean, how, what? So Bill Awful. steps over there, hits him in the back. You know, just the, the, the poison's, like, really affecting him, so he's kind of coughing and all that stuff, just feeling really exhausted from, like, trying to cough up all this poison bullshit. And from that, he just takes out his little tiny sword and just starts poking him, poking him in the eye, and Bill just gets really pissed off, takes his battle axe and says, no, fuck you, and just smashes it directly in his face, and his head explodes. Splatters all guys. over your boots. That's not what I thought. Well, he's going else? for distance. He's, um, after that, uh, he knows the bitch is somewhere over here, or at least he thinks so. So he's going to try to um, get some, get a better vantage point. Seeing that, he's going to then go. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> He's gonna run over. Uh, I said, oh, uh, you man. didn't get out of the line of sight either. Well, that's what he—he he, he's pissed off. He's still that's he. Oh shit! Oh wait, oh, wait hold, hold on. After hold on. on that. This this cloud moved again. My bud, uh, isn't my movement halved? I'm trying to remember, freaking uh, exhaustion. Uh, exhaustion. Exhaustion one is my is my movement half. Uh, it's exhaustion. Don't you have the two. don't you have the thing on your character? Like, what's the deal? Yes. Oh, sorry. What the uh, <laughs> speed is half. Yeah. Everything is really speed is half. Okay, so I couldn't. So I basically made it to where I was. I am Five, right ten, now. fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. No, oh, your speed is half. You can only move 15, right? Yeah, so I can only make it to there. Yeah, so you have no clue where she's at. <laughs> nope. Well, you kind of know she's up there somewhere, but not what square she's in. That's my apologies. Uh, Zazzy, this thing uh, moved into your square before your turn, so uh, you have to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, you up. do have inspiration, so I, will I don't use know it. if you want to. 
let me uh let me find her real quick and or him i keep calling that guy a her because she's he's a spellcaster you know a drow all right here you go here's your save and uh you make it so you're only going to take half of the damage and uh and you're and you're blinded and you're blinded all right uh i will do what i saw others do which is move straight through to i can go 30 feet and come out the other side of it so no longer blinded and uh ooh i see an enemy a sea anemone. It's a sea anemone. Dig it up. Uh, they're they're, oh, dead. they're dead. They're all dead. Okay. dead. Yeah, of course yeah. the map did not show me dead, but now it does when I target it. Oh, and that's dead too. So I will... Uh, uh, <clears throat> I will, as my friend who uses an accent wrong, I will dash to move another amount of feet to maybe there. He... Uh, he uh, Daesh, he also spins cash, and uh, it's very, it's all very upsetting to me, everybody, just so you guys know. He also all lives right. in Washington, the state of Washington. Mm -hmm. It's very upsetting. Yeah, my mom, my mom would say Washington. Yeah. yeah. This is a guy who, when I called him on it, he goes, he, he literally said to me, oh, would you rather I said Washington? And I'm like, oh, my God, so you do know how to say it. And I and he had ne we had never talked about it. I'd known him for years. And I say, why do you say it Washington? And he goes, just to fuck with you. <laughs> That's like I asked somebody. <laughs> do, a 10 year you know bit to you, fucking mess with me. The stuff you smear in your car and it protects the paint from, you know, wax fading. And yeah, so you do know what that is. And I pointed to his car. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's always great. That's always great. All right, Gron, what's what's uh he he's he's coming around the corner. See what I can see. Uh Bill, I can you see, see Bill, Bill, see Bill all winded because he hit himself Still earlier sure, in. Well, I don't feel like shooting Bill just yet. You know what I maybe uh, need to do with those exhaustions is I need to make them cumulative. I need to put like when you put exhaustion two, you're you're then not reminded what has exhaustion one. I should I yeah. should add, you know what I mean? You guys know what I'm saying. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, have the ex you know have all the shit on there. One and two is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because then you forget what's happening. Uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So she moves up and she sees this cloud, and she says, "Are you dead?" Where'd you go? What do I? What am I doing? <laughs> I thought we were fleeing. She yells out. Hello. I, I guess they're dead. <laughs> She's gonna move back. We're we're fighting bastards up here. <laughs> Hello. Obsidian. Uh, you get to make the old save and throw. Finally. What is he throwing? Here it comes. Failed. Can use his inspiration. Damn, 25. Uh, Fuck that cloud. Was right? that a was that a casting or was that it just appeared? Cloud kill. Oh, somebody. Yeah, fucking motherfucker. Uh, and it's your turn. Uh, I think I would have counterspelled it. Obsidian. Yeah, counterspell. So I'm going to hold my hand against the wall and move up. Uh, 
Now, only if he had some ability like Druidcraft or something that could puff the smoke away from his face. Crown's the one with the druid craft. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I don't understand it. All right, so that's 45 to, to, to there. So I see them running ahead. Doesn't look like the, uh, Bill is running. <laughs> He's limping. <laughs> I, I, I think I hit myself in the nut. I'm going to use a key point and step of the wind. Those kind of points down the hallway. <laughs> Is that what it sounds like? Yep, he broke the wind. I can't go my full 45 because I just can't see. So that's 30. So right next to her, it's 45 or him, whatever it is. I'm going up next to him. And then I'm uh, going actually, to... that, uh, hold on one second. You need to give me an acrobatics check. Acrobatics. Yeah, you can see that she's got uh, some kind of uh, boots on that are that kind of let her stick to stuff, kind of slippers. And Obsidian, when you come running up into this smooth tunnel, you slide to where you're at. You're like, whoa, as this thing is starts steeply going down. All right, and I'm going to use my inspiration to attack her, him, whatever. All right, hold on one second. Well, are you going to ask him, her, them, how they identify, or? Well, Drake identify has said it crap. like four ways, so I don't know which one it is. So it's like it's real life. Guy. guy with a ponytail. Don't make it my responsibility. Are you ready? No. Um, I'm trying to do something that I don't know how to do. Go ahead and roll to hit. I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. And one second before you roll damage. And I'm going to stunning strike him. Yeah, you hit. You hit. It's max damage. Nice. All right, so he is stunned for one round as I follow up with my second attack. Wait, hold on one second. Is he concentrating on those spells? Yeah, but he's not now. Oh, oh, I need to... Yeah, he's stunned, so he can't concentrate on that spell. Bloop. Go ahead with your rest of your turn, Spin. Sorry. <laughs> that yeah. crit. He's not going to survive. How many? Eight hit points. Can you do it? Can you do it? (laughs) (laughs) 
All right, so Kai come running up, uh, slide and slam into yeah, the side like, of his head with the first yeah. strike, and then slash down across his chest with the second one. Yix, go go Yix. Yeah, Yix is gonna come uh, down to be with Karan and just kind of check out the area. I don't know. I didn't go. I just am dragging you over there somewhere. There. Yeah. How's that? Like that. Fine. Uh, Quaid. 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 Do 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 do. I'm gonna come out here in the middle of the room, get a look around. What's going on? Nothing else moving in here other than that thing. And that's like standing there bleeding all over Obsidian's shoes or something. Well, we'll just throw this at. <laughs> nice. Stabs him in the neck. And and that's it for me, I guess. I don't see anything cool. else to shoot. Because I'm going to take you guys out of initiative and unlock your tokens. It means that shadow All right. Room, right? Well, you're going to just continue for a few more seconds until... Yeah. The spell ends, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, no one Who's bumped me. I'm concentrating. <laughs> I'm going to yell to uh, Valerie Harper. Come on. Let me see if she can hear you guys. I'm going to give her a perception check. At advantage. Oh, you know, uh, Obsidian had a max damage. You know, I the sounds aren't, that thing isn't working, so I didn't see it. So, Obsidian, you've got a max damage coming up sometime during the rest of the session from Mr. Diablo Bob, CITC, if you need it. I mean, not if you need it, but Very if nice. it happens. Yeah, the sounds. I'm Bill's not gonna hearing request my from, main... From everyone that, hey, can we hang out here for a little bit and kind of recover? Yes, stop for a moment. Yes, let's do it. Uh, she does hear you, so uh, she's like, oh, you, you guys are alive. So with 15 warlocks, we fight. We stop for an hour after every fight. Yep. That's the way it works. So does the exhaustion go away after the short rest, or do I have no. to wait for a long rest? Do you need a rope to help put you out of the, the tunnel, Obsidian? You and the, the body, so that we can... No, recover. I'm going to search the body as well. Uh, you do recover a, a dead body and our guy sliding down and he's he's searching as they're sliding down the thing. Uh, there must be some gold in here. The uh, I will let you get one of your exhaustions off for your short rest. I did. So I, 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 yeah, I allow those for the short rests. Uh, All right, we're when taking they're short rest rules. for the critical fumbles. Well, when they're uh, chat. Um, not chat, but a fumble, fumble, a fumble, and a crit. I, I do a short rest. If you get it from other means, it's a long rest. You know. No, I meant we're taking a short rest, though. Uh that's up to you guys. I, I can push it if you guys say you are. Yeah, I, I need to. Rest. And but before I start, I'm going to use sorcery points to recover spell slots, and then two pack magic spell slots to recover the sorcery points, and then. Take the short rest and get the pack magic. Get a, get the flow, uh, flow, carry the seven. Get your flow chart protractor. We don't know what's going on. Uh, okay. So you guys uh, uh, to hit our class not, zero. It. You guys do not have an encounter during a short rest. So nice. Who's a, who's a bard? Okay. Nobody. All right, throwing hit dice. Hey, these in. sleepers Coming made it to where he did not slip. Does anybody else want these? Magic slippers. Oh, beautiful. Let's see what else there was. Mm. Uh, oh, wait, magic, magic slippers. slippers. 
Yeah. That sounds yeah. like something. Ruby slippers. So Ruby there's slippers. some Ruby kind slippers. of heat yeah. source yeah. coming yeah. from in this room over here. Well, uh, took there a minute ago. If nobody wants... If nobody... Why why is my thing not attuned? If no, I got boots the, the winter slippers, land. Then I will take the slippers. I'll have a non-slip slippery slipper. I would. I want them as well. Oh. I was asking if anybody it, else wanted them. Yeah, the if you land. want them... I mean, you found them, so if you want them, you, you take them. I only was going to take them if, if they got in, you know, like, hey, Frank. see these slippers? <laughs> Fuck it. Like, then I will take them. I'll give you the left one. I'll take the right one. We have to, then we have to do the three legged race where we tie our legs the whole time. Every battle, we're always to get together. Let's do it. We'll never fall down. We can climb up the wall. Grunt, come here. I want to show you something. And Quaid uses his druid craft and produces some lovely flowers. But unfortunately, he's from the Shadow Fell, so they have no color. Are these not beautiful? There is a reason for druid craft. Have you ever tried to woo a woman? And these flowers are just pathetically like tones of gray. They're just nasty looking. Did I'll try go... to with druid craft. Is everybody um, going in here? <laughs> so I didn't read the slippers, but uh, it clearly says that the, uh, however, the slippers don't allow you to move this way on a slippery surface, such as one covered by ice or oil. What <laughs> the fuck good are they then? <laughs> <laughs> I assumed he could no, walk on the surface. The, oh. the ice is what the crampons on the slippers of spider climb is for. <laughs> Uh, there's I'll study also, them for an hour. There's also a... Uh, now... A, th a three-inch cube of solid brimstone sitting on the table in there uh, that's producing heat. Huh. Did we search the rest of the bodies? Not yet. How hot? Let's do that. Let's... Um, it keeps the temperature. I mean, it's 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 warm. It keeps the temperature within fifteen feet of it at ninety-five degrees Fahrenheit or thirty-five degrees Celsius. We can have. Oh, it's it's hot in this room. It's Is hot it in this room. Fire? Uh, it's not actually. It's not actually going to produce any damage. So. Oh, it's just it just makes it hot. So it's a portable heater. Yeah, it's called a thermal cube. Oh, yeah. Nice. Can you, can you can you, uh, can you like shut it off or something? How do you how do they work? It doesn't it doesn't like say he could turn it on or off. It just says this three inch cube of solid brimstone generates enough dry heat to keep the temperature within fifteen feet of it. At 95 degrees Fahrenheit. 95? That's excessive. Wow. <laughs> right, that's pretty damn so, hot. Obsidian, uh, oh, that, no. that's yours. I can this past week. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's, uh, uh, the it's bodies, 91 right now. <laughs> and it's 7 o'clock. The, uh, the bodies, the, uh, the, the two um, soldier drows, they have hand crossbows and short swords. And what are they wearing for armor? Uh, where'd they go? Chains? I might be moving soon. So I'm going to tie the cube to my crowbar, which is strapped to my backpack. And drag it behind you for heat? You'll be able to ter tell where he went because all the ice will be melted in a trail <laughs> behind him. Maybe that's how those tunnels right. were formed. Somebody just carried that cube all over uh, and just melted freaking tunnels. Don't watch the ice road with Liam Neeson on Netflix if you're going to put that cool cube behind you. Studded leather. The drow half. Two drow. Nobody wants that. Uh, short swords and hand crossbows. Uh, I 
the uh, wizard dude has a uh, like a Oh, sorry, I need to move Zazzy a second. Uh, it's a spider silk satchel that contains a, a spell book, a spider-shaped brooch made of obsidian and engraved with some kind of drow house symbol. Would anyone know anything about drow house symbols? Any characters? No. Any reason, any of your characters? Uh, so it's, yeah, some house. Somebody's like, ah, I don't know. And... uh there's also a bottle of uh it's a very nice bottle like very highly decorated uh bottle uh it's the half press, full of a liquid the professor or would know about the drow stuff what do you a, a bottle full of liquid huh yeah a half full of liquid or half empty however you're, you're a pessimist or not I don't know However, you're pessimist or not. <laughs> I think we know. So, have we ever seen such a bottle before? Uh, is there anybody here that's an elf? Yes. Yes. Quaid is an elf. Quaid is not a Forgotten Realms elf. An elf? That's what you said? He's That's from the Shadowfell. They don't have Shatter this Kai in the Shadowfell. God made her. Uh, let's see. Uh, so does somebody like wake up, Professor Jack? Yeah. Wake him up. Scatman song. Wake his ass up. Uh, let's oh, see. Oh, he oh. says. Oh, yeah. oh. He comes hovering over, uh, mage handing himself over, rubbing his eyes. Mm, let's see that uh, that bottle there. I recognize immediately. That's a that's a that's a rare uh, vintage of Elver Quest. It's it's a uh, it's a rare wine. There is trade between the Shadowfell and, and Forgotten Realms, though. So. Yeah, ain't nobody trading that shit. <laughs> Gotta drink it. It's a it's a ruby colored elven liquor distilled from sunshine and rare summer fruit fruits. It's nice. It tastes like a Mad Dog Twenty Twenty. Just guzzle it down. Distilled Orange from flavor. sunshine. Orange flavored Mad Dog 2020. Uh, Professor Skank, does, did he know something about That's Drow? It? Does he? No, I don't think so. Let's see. He seems very knowledgeable on uh, all the crap that we're running into. Etherelium, whatever. Well, I thought it was on his NPC sheet, but it's not. So I have to find him in the story entry now. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, I'm sorry. I know it was in Vampires. I don't think it was Trow. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Hamburger! He's like, it's, 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 it's a house symbol. Uh, it's not that important, I suppose. Our They're not here man. for us. And uh, there's also a uh, spell book. Scrolls. Uh, yeah, spell book can... contains. It's uh, it is a black leather cover, and the pages are made from sheets of Trillmac, uh, which is a uh, underdark fungus. Uh, the spells that are in it are Comprehend Languages, Detect Magic, Mage Armor, Magic Missile, Shield, Witch Bolt, Alter Self, Misty Step, Suggestion, Web, Third Level, Fly, Greater Invisibility, Lightning Bolt, Sending, Fourth Level, Everett's Black Tentacles, Fabricate, 
and fifth level cloud kill. Can we? So have... the only people that can use no. those in our party are if any of those spells are sorcerer, warlock, paladin, or cleric. Also, besides being a bunch of them are sorcerer. Huh? A whole bunch of the spells are sorcerer spells. So that couldn't we also? Yeah, I can use cloud Quaid, yeah, kill. Yeah, should take that and rip I'll out the pages I'll that are. Well, you have some scrolls. So what'd you say? Cloud kill. Uh, cloud kill sorcerer. It's in the party. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, just look at the spells and see if they're. All right, I'm putting it in an inventory real quick. Hold on. I'll make a list of the uh, scrolls. There you guys spells. go. That's what you guys found. So can't we ask Valen to add any particularly useful spell to her repertoire? Oh, she uh, is a wizard. Probably huh? not. Yeah, probably not standing in the middle of the caves. No, of I'm hunger, saying like when we but, have yes. long rest, we could yeah, say, so "Hey, we'll definitely we take that spell book. We want to learn fly." Do we find any kind of dispatch from the house matron uh, explaining why we have drow in the middle of the freaking giant country? Nope. How they got behind the wall and all this stuff? Got behind the wall? What do you mean? We had to say this whole rhyme of the frost maiden to get in here. How did they get in here without it? Was there any well, kind you, of you, diary you, or anything? You might... You might have a clue that uh, they didn't come in the way you came in. Milton you don't think. Time. Break time. All right, so I ripped, I'll rip break these. Time. I'll go through these break spells time. during break time and uh, rip them out into whatever. And yeah. And you can add a spell from a scroll into your spell book anyway. So, yeah, that's the best thing to do with it. Oh, I can add this. I can actually add the scroll into my spell book. I thought a wizard did that. Only a wizard does that. Yeah. No, but yeah, you, that's you, what I'm saying. You, the sorcerer, can use the pages of the spell book as scroll. Yeah, as a scroll. Time. Yes. Yeah, one time use. One time. Right, or you can hand that scroll to a wizard, a wizard and they can add it to their spell book. Is what I was getting at. Oh, right, right. but the only After wizard they is, hand uh, you gold. Eddie, Eddie Van Halen's girlfriend, Valerie Harper. Well, then maybe maybe she might be more useful than frickin' magic missile, magic missile, magic right? Missile. But yeah. right, no, that's what that's what we were saying. We definitely would as many spells as she can have. We probably want to give them to her, and whatever she either already has, then you'll take. That's what I was thinking. I thought we what, said that. What's her max okay. level that she can cast? Is it five or above? Uh, magic missile. <laughs> it's just she is uh, she third level. Okay, so she has no use for cloud kill. Well, neither do I really, without a huge penalty to try to cast it. So, but it's well, I mean for one control. time only, it's worth a shot if we need it. You know. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, let's take a break, guys. Ten minutes. Ten, Ten minute. minutes. Ten minutes. All right, so now we're going to take a break stream. And during this break, I'm going to try. You guys will only see the slides, but I'm going to try to affect, like, uh, I don't know, play a YouTube video and then see if I can get my sound. Because everything's working except I don't hear my own computer sounds. And I think if I can fix that. So let's give it a shot here. Let's play some. Let's play Gilda Radner on Johnny Carson. Why not? All right, it's playing, yet I don't hear it. So let's figure that out. Now, what I hope I don't do is screw up the, you know, you, you guys understand what I'm saying. All right, so let me go to sounds, sounds, settings. I want to say... Popular characters on the show. Go. It's called Roseanne, Rosanna Danna's Hey, Get Back the Workbook. <laughs> Would you welcome Gilda Radner? I gotta tell you, you have made me laugh yep. so many times, I cannot tell you. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Same goes here. Yeah, thank you. You were doing a thing one night when you it had to do with Dr. Joyce Brothers. You've been. 
Gilda Radner on Johnny Carson. I don't. I know I saw it. I know I did because Johnny Carson since I was a little kid. Three. Ooh. There we go. Winnip Winnipeg DM. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Now I'm hearing stuff. Now it's firing on all cylinders. All right, so during the break, I, of course, have to do my homework, everybody. I have to go open Photoshop, change the game slides and the YouTube slides. See, everybody else gets to take a break. I don't usually get, I don't really get a break, per se. I will. I'll get a couple minutes. Got shit to do during the break. Now Sirenscape should work, if I hear it. There it is, <laughs> the fart sound I typed in. All right, so Photoshop. Photoshop. Maybe that doesn't work now, great. Gotta be kidding me. Uh, yeah, Photoshop doesn't seem to be responding. It's fantastic. Let's try that again. Photoshop. How doesn't shit work? What is blessed strikes? I better look that up. I should be using that. Oh, that is, uh, yes, that is. Yes, that is not something I need to add to my hotbar because it's built in. What in the fuck is going on with Photoshop? Come on, guys. Come on, computer people. Adobe Photoshop. End task. All right, let's try it again. Wow, uh, background process is 119. What the hell? Google Chrome is such a fucking CPU hog. Well, I mean, not that bad, but it's more than it should be. All right, let's go to Photoshop. There we go. Now we're talking. Baby, fuck. Breaks only 10 minutes. Come on, Photoshop. All right, so episode, this is episode 34, so I'll change the YouTube slide first. I usually do it the other way. I usually don't do it in this order. Probably going to screw it up. Save as JPEG. Boom. Okay, now open the other one game slide that you guys will see on screen change that to 3 plus 7 is 10 July 10th episode 35 and as soon as I save that oh I know the other thing I didn't do is I didn't put the countdown on the screen for you guys which with two minutes left I shall do I started the countdown I just didn't show it on screen so here we go there oh i guess there's four minutes left nice so i have that going for me don't forget everybody the uh july 4th only the insanity bundle is on sale on the dm's guild july 4th only p.s it's already on sale you can go get it now uh everybody should do that here i'll give you guys the url if you want if you're interested in it those of you that don't know, and uh, how would you not know, what the Insanity Bundle is, is every single title 
Uh, let me check the number of that. Uh, so 415 titles. 415 titles. And if you buy them all, which is like three grand worth of stuff, it's all 75% off. And anything you already own is subtracted. So there's the link, everybody. Go see how much it costs for you. Click on it and see how much your price is. The hell of a deal. Usually only... Uh, uh, the normal thing I do is I put it on sale like December 24th and 25th. But July 4th, Christmas in July. One day only. Go get it. Do it. Do it now. Yep, every single title, every one of them. Every, I mean, you can scroll down through that and look at it and it's like, oh my God, look at all this. I mean, that's five years worth of stuff, 415 titles. That's every conversion, every Team TUI, all the codings, all the extensions, all the modules, all the adventures, bestiaries, whatever anybody's ever done that I've worked with them and I've made a copy of it, or I mean, I made a Fantasy Grounds version and then plus... All the teams do it. Everything, all of it, all, all the way up through the most current publication. It's all there. And uh, as I say, if you've already purchased many of those items, you don't have to rebuy them. It takes that out of the price. So this this insanity bundle could cost you anywhere from zero to eight hundred and ten dollars and forty three cents. If you didn't own anything and you bought it all, it would cost eight hundred bucks still a hell of a bargain because you're getting 400 and what's that two dollars a piece on average that's insane a lot of stuff costs way over 10 and 15 dollars a lot of other it's crazy everybody all right how much time now what are we looking at here a minute all right i've got i've actually got enough liquid to last me the rest of the game i don't think i need any snacks Diablo Bob is the current bit boss with uh, 2050. Hey, by the way, everybody, thanks for the follows. Yeah, Diablo Bob says I'm having a rough technology day. Oh, yeah. Thanks, thanks for the follows. Thanks for the uh, subs and the resubs. And thank you to the players who have uh, not the players, but the people watching the chat who have participated in purchasing things from the Chat XP store, which, by the way, is only a player, only one person, cheater. Um, so I'm going to turn the clock. We've got, we've got less than a minute, so I'm going to turn the clock off. I can get ready to switch back over, turn my players, turn my voice on back to the players, even though if they're listening to the stream, they already hear me, but I'm not talking directly to them. I'm only talking to you, the viewing audience. And if you're watching on YouTube, thank you, but you should come watch us live. because You can participate. So do it. <laughs> Bob. What? It's just you're funny. You just wave for like no apparent reason. Uh -huh. Insanity uh -huh. bundle was 104 for me. What? Uh, I haven't bought stuff. <sighs> yeah. Oh, oh, it's a, it costs you 104 dollars. Me? Wow. Yeah. So you have a you have a lot of you have almost have a lot of stuff, everything. Well, he converted, I, like, half the stuff. Right, yeah, he half of it's his anyway, so it's, it's a, he gets that free automatically. <laughs> Only 60 out of the 400-something. Uh, here, I'll tell you how many titles you have right now. Uh, 62. You've got the most. Next behind you is Marmus the Horse, apparently. 31. <laughs> Liam, Liam uh, Marbania has 21. Really? Yeah. Marbania? I have nine. Diablo Bob I've, has nine, and he's like, the, he's like the highest earner. <laughs> so, or one of the top, so, <laughs> number two, whatever. But I have none. I have great none. takes. Not a member of Team Tui. No. 
I, I I could be an honorary member though. You I have I have helped uh total help items move sold the team for, forward anyways. Total <laughs> items <laughs> sold through yesterday, hundred and three thousand seven hundred and twenty four. Total gross sales, this is gross now, not net, six hundred and sixty nine thousand eight hundred and ninety eight dollars and one cent. Uh, total insanity bundle bundles uh, uh products four fifteen. Total team collaborations three oh eight. Uh total. projected projected one million dollars in sales uh August nineteenth of next year. So you're in the chat. Wow. We need to uh Ah. Believe me, on the day I hit a million dollars in sales, I'm emailing the DMs Guild and saying, who else has a million dollars in sales? You must tell me. And then they must tell me. They probably won't. They'll they say won't probably, they're the not going to fucking give up. They don't. You know what's funny is they absolutely don't give a shit about me at all. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure, you know, I've made them $300,000, but whatever. They'll be like, Wizards all right, so last DMs month. Guild, I'd be surprised if they even know. If they even know what. So you guys got a uh, a uh, a short I think rest. I see, totals. S- oh. <laughs> see some. I see some of you have not uh, fully healed. Did you want to burn hit eye anybody like? Feel. Well, Feel I have Obsidian? only one hit die left, and I'm only down one hit point, so it makes not good sense for me to do that. Bill, uh, it looks like Bill. Uh, but he would like to do the two bonus actions for the Warlock Healing Light on himself. I'm disappointed Actually, no, to have heard what? the bird in the background with your new headset, Bob. I'm very upset by that. <laughs> well, I, I, I can hold my fucking cell phone up to the mic like this, and you guys can't hear it, but I can hear that fucking bird. <laughs> $90. Down the drain! <laughs> See, Rob, you should have got him a BB gun. <laughs> there were no animals harmed in the making of this stream. <laughs> I know what he's getting. Though. He's getting his BB gun. That's right, I am. Where the fuck is it? Oh, yeah, I put it over here. I had to hide it from the cleaners. There you go, Drake. Oh. You, can add, uh, you can add those spells to Valerie Harple's, Harper's. Uh, whatever, that's the ones I didn't take. Scrolls in. You mean this BB gun? How did you share that? Yeah, it's a note. This fucking yeah, BB gun right here. Or a BB gun. I just he made it everybody. public and I shared it with everybody. This is mm-hmm. not a fucking real. This is a BB gun. This is not a goddamn M4 rifle or whatever the hell. Oh, 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 oh! Don't show that on I would, Twitch, man. I would oh, shoot God. you if you pointed that at me. Is guns uh, against turtles? Yeah. No. I didn't think so. But it's a BB gun anyway. I'm not coming with... He doesn't want to... I did not know that. Okay. Harm. Cool. Thank you. Not charged. Damn it. He doesn't want to harm, you know, the people turning around as a driveway. He just wants to get their attention when he pings the BB off the windshield. (laughs) I don't shoot at people. It's like it's airsoft. Now it depends on what your your definition of people is, but I don't I don't shoot it. You're shooting at their gear, right, Rob? Shoot at their gear, not no. I have to calibrate. Geneva Convention. I have the red dot sight. I need it calibrated. I don't want to do it. All right, so uh, can't get you banned. What happened? With Twitch, guns can get you banned. In their okay. uh, conduct guidelines, it says yeah. brandishing lethal or harmful weapons such as guns, knives, mm-hmm. or explosives are zero tolerance harassment po- violations and will receive an immediate indefinite suspension. Well, I guess I better not do that then. But no, that is uh, a, no non-lethal BB gun that, like you that's have. That's a BB gun. That's like, if I, risky, that's like though, if I went... But... It's nearly the same as me just going like this. <laughs> it's very nearly the same. Or just As a matter of fact, I would submit that if I'm shooting at you and saying emotional things to you, that is way more hurtful than what a BB would feel like. 
single time. Uh, no, it depends exactly where you hit me with that BB. In your heart. Oh, oh I thought Come you in. meant with my comments. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have one right here from when I was a kid. See, you're fine. See? I lived that long with it. The rest of them I picked out. Oh, you have the a BB, BB in horse. your arm? Mm-hmm. That I couldn't, I couldn't live. We used to have BB gun fights in the neighborhood. Oh, Jesus. The, de the Daisy BB guns are the ones to have the fights with. It's the assholes that come with the pump. Those things just shoot through like Yeah, like we, when, we, when we were kids, we had BB guns, shit. but if you hit the tin can with the BB gun, this is how powerful they were. You'd hear the tink, but the can wouldn't fall over. <laughs> That's how powerful these BB guns were when we were kids. It's like the plastic ones they have now. Yeah. Yeah, it was a one pump roll exactly. We had a one pump roll on the on the pump guns. One pump roll. I had a little the little forty five pistol, and uh, it only held like ten or twelve shots. But if you held the trigger and you pulled it back and let go at the same time, it would shoot. So you could just go, duk, 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 duk. <laughs> and as fast as you could pull it back, it would pull it would shoot a BB out. They didn't really hurt. They didn't go very far, but it was still kind of fun. Anyways, let's play some Dungeons and Dragons. Let's get oh, back to it. Uh, you guys, uh, huh? One pump rule. That sounds like when I go to bed at night. Uh, <laughs> that's just the one pump rule. Let's do it. D and D. Just I don't to, know. We have to go to further tip. explore. We have already seen everything here. Yeah. So you guys can go back the way you came, or you can take the slide down. Take the slide Ooh, down. Well, the slide. That sounds like adventurous. Does everybody want to take the slide? <laughs> Bill Played just him. says, you do, oh, and pushes me. <laughs> I just just walk there. There. And then head down that other direction that we came hey, from. Hey, guys, how about we throw the drow bodies down the slide first in case there's like a drop-off? We can have something soft to land on. Oh, sure. Let's have uh, Hey, here we come. Down and monitor them. See, see if anything happens to their bodies when they get down there. Yeah. You know, you could, if, with a decent acrobatics, I would let you ride a body down like a bobsled. <laughs> Holding the hair. Get my arms pulled yeah. up. Do we get to roll the oh, acrobatics yeah. check first before we get on the body, or only as we No. Damn it. It's been an hour. They probably you got to risk it to get the biscuit. You got to risk it to get the biscuit. With my exhaustion one, I will definitely fall flat on my face. Just saying. <laughs> So it's just gonna um, lay down and let you guys just. Push it, it's a it's an athletics check to to actually climb down without sliding. Um. Sure. What about, Yix, tree. what about Yix flying down there and checking it out? I think he's already been down there. You already know it's down there. You know, there's uh, some steaming hot baths of uh, of water springs down there. Let's shove the bodies down, and then Yix can observe and see if something comes out of that hot bath to freaking eat the bodies. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we send down all the bodies down that thing. Just heave them down there. Naked. <laughs> naked. 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 Taken naked. Uh, so Yix flies down. What, you send all three bodies? Like, soup, soup, soup. Yeah, just... Yeah. <laughs> Like they're, like, like they're uh, uh, quantum torpedoes away uh, and uh, slide these drow elves down there. And Yix is following behind him, flying as fast as he can keep up with them as he goes he zooming down this luge. Uh, and uh, they uh, they fly out and land in the in, right into one of the springs. Curse splash, curse splash, curse splash. And uh, and Yix watches them, and uh, nothing happens other than they start to get steamy, steamy. As they yep. start to start to smell like, you know, a drow sauna in here now, whatever that might smell like. Mesoberranian saunas, Mesoberranian. However you say it. Rune explains this. Yeah. Ask or see if Yix can see an exit from the room, or if it's one entrance, one exit. 
there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six ways to go out of this room. Six. At this. I, I kind of imagine Grun's voice changes to Yix when he when he's like in contact with him. But you can be in contact with him to a hundred feet. Yeah. 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 But he's smart uh, enough to scout and then come back up and report. Yeah, well, I mean he, he kinda can he initiate the contact? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when he gets uh, as he starts to as he goes down and looks out, but he only has to come back up, fly up, uh, you know, like 20, 30 feet up the tunnel, and then he can telepathically communicate with you. He's like, yeah, you can come down here, but there's there's something in the in the water over there. I, I didn't want to get any closer to it. It, it looks dangerous. And put in the pool, in the pool to the far end, away from this way. You're an expendable thing. Get closer to it. <laughs> we'll just make you again. Don't worry. You to heat. <laughs> uh, so uh, he he's gonna give you an image. Uh, speed. Ooh, ooh, an image, an image. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna give it. Well, I'm gonna give it to Gron, and then he can he can explain it. He's like, I see this. Uh, they're not there. <laughs> they're they're not there. That's, they're that's, not there. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. What the? Okay. Um. So, I will describe from Yix's point of view that what he sees is this large, heated pool of water. Uh, it appears to be glowing. And there is a large, uh, very large, segmented, like, insect, kind of like a long centipede inside the pool uh, where it looks like there's, I don't know, lava or something on the bottom. It's all hot and fiery. There's light coming out of it. And uh, this ginormous centipede looking thing is wrapped around some eggs and has these horns coming out of its head that look like they're 10 feet long. Chat says it's a reincarnation pond that we just threw bodies into. Um, Was it something you could I, say vote, yeah. you ruined I vote we go the other way. I, Fuck I, that. I, I, I don't want to go down there now. Yeah, I, I that's why that's why you guys said the first three times I think you scouted it out. And now this this DX got a real good look at this now. So But this is uh we came in through the, like the bottom right of the map and this is so far the only way we found to go unless we go back, right? Well, right, so we, you... there was one area we didn't back by that tree. There was a pathway down that we didn't take because we wanted to make sure we got rid of the dro first. Oh, okay. Well, maybe go. Let's go check that out by the tree. Where was the tree? So give uh, everybody else that that Matakiri's character described to uh, can give me a, a rating of one to ten how well he did based on uh, the image. Did you visualize it like that? He was talking to you about it. <laughs> Not at all. No. Mm, no. Uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that is I, not I that, there's nothing there that, that I that I visualized in my mind's eye. Uh, pool of okay. water <laughs> segmented. I <laughs> see. I see. It's a remoraz. I would have said there's a there's a, a vortex. What's the what's that thing that spins and goes down in the ocean? What's that called? Or not a vortex. Maelstrom. A maelstrom. No, but it's a. A world, a world, yeah, there's a, there's a, or a there's maelstrom. There's a whirlpool of lava with three, uh, like stones sticking up out of the edge of it, and then there's a. There's, I mean, he did he did a good description of the thing with the horn, you know, the beast with the horns on it, whatever. But yeah, that's not what I pictured. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. I, uh, although I will say, I still don't want to go down there. I don't want to go there. It's a good there. image, though. I had to share. I couldn't yeah, just it's really good. Let you guys. Yeah. All right, taking it back. 
Uh, we're not going that way. So you guys want to go back the way you came? How far is the tunnel? How long is the tunnel? The tunnel down to the springs? Uh, like 200 feet. 200 feet-ish. Of a slippery slope. Because they... The remoras have been tunneling. <laughs> Chat. Um. So, are we going to go down there, or oh, what Mexico. do people want to do? Uh, raise your hand if you want to go spelunking. I don't see any hands. Oh, well, well, thank thank I see one. You know what? Fuck it. Why not? I see two. <laughs> Go get some more druid craft one, fruit. One more, one more hand would have been a majority, but no. Some more pears, some purpley pears. Uh, so I, I the... uh, I'm Zazzy's all about staying right here until we've been declared winners of Dungeons and Dragons. Just stand here for the rest of the campaign until Drake says. You, you know win. what? Because you're playing Dungeons and Dragons, you are a winner. God, I never thought of that. All right, I'll go with what the group wants, but apparently only two people wanted to go down there. Connotations, yeah. Stuart Smalley. There's like multiple ways down there too, so. Good enough. You're smart you're... enough. John got apparently it. People there are like five you. Ways down there. And you're a winner because you played D and D. Yeah, let's go another way down there. Multiple okay. ways. Go down back there. the way you came. Yeah, let's go another way down there. Where, where's this tree we were talking about? I don't want to slide in the water. Uh, well, you guys don't need to move your guys all the way. I okay. got to put you on another map. So all let right. me. Uh, Very good. Let me uh, see why this map is all black. Why is this map all black? Racist. There's no tokens on it. Token. Wow. Token. Black. We better calm down, everybody. There. Because uh, I had stupid what you call it on. Uh, so you guys are going to come back into the grove area. Uh, where the uh, the pretty girl was at, she she tried to get you to stay with her. Pretty you guys girl. remember? A grove of frost covered trees fills this fifty foot high cavern, the floor of which is a mixture of earth and ice. By some magical or miracle, the trees are alive. Their canopies thick with frosty leaves, their branches bearing purple pears that hang like ornaments. A low wall broken in several places threads its way through the grove, which is surrounded by six exits. Uh, and there was a dryad in here, you remember? You talked to her and she uh, she told you dryad, that uh, she's me bound out. to the, the grove. Uh, craft pairs. Uh, the strange, she told you about the strange one-eyed creatures that lurk to the south, which were the... Which were Nothing. the... Uh, Nothics, yeah. Purple pears. If you want a purple pear, uh, there are plenty of them. And uh, you guys know if you eat a pear, you get to roll on a uh, on a table to see what happens. I want to eat a pear. Uh, if you've eaten a pear in the last 24 hours, let me know. Oh, I think Anybody? I have. I think we did that. We, yeah. we haven't taken we a long rest since we ate the pear. And Bob, I think you, I think you ate a pear too. You got whatever that. That's how I got the charm. Yes, like oh yeah, food. okay. Yeah. So, uh, do you eat another pear? No. Uh, not since the DM said if you've eaten one within 24 hours, <laughs> let me know. No, we don't eat another one. <laughs> Fucking poison bullshit. Hey Bill, I'll give you five silver if you eat another one. Yeah. I'll, I'll double. I'll match that. The last one Can? made me super gasty. Like, no. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, but you got some lightning. I don't know. Shit. I can't eat a whole pear. It's too much pear. I can eat part of a pear, but not a whole one. That's a I can lot. eat a whole pear, but not a purple one. That's All right, a, so there's six plum. exits out of here. Uh, let's see. Let's all go a different one. Is there a map with us? Because we can't see anything. Yeah, let me... Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to actually share this with you. And I'll go separate ways and meet back here in five minutes. Mm -hmm. Turn off line of sight. All right, you guys can see the map. I don't have your tokens on there uh, yet because I think you're just going to move through this map. Uh, this is where... Jack. Yep. Is lighting it black to you too. guys? Uh, oh, I got lighting on. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, now. shit. 
there you yeah, go. Druid Beans Grove and yeah, so you you guys came from you know this tunnel over here is where the you know over to where the drow are at. I, I'm sorry, down here is where the drow are at. Um, and then oh. of course this is one of those tubes that leads down to the to the to the eggs and stuff. Uh, this way you haven't been, yeah. That way you haven't been, and this was the mirror room with the. Uh, over here was the uh oh that's right that's where that fucking we could the mimic to the wall the mimic yes. cube yes. yeah 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 so so, we haven't gone so really the, the only direction you haven't gone is is down here but what's in let's double check see what was in here i don't know if you've been in here yet let's see i think we went oh the there. caves are empty and psychic hauntings let's see what you guys would see if there is one uh, no haunting, so that made it easy. So you guys just want to move on through to the other map? Yeah. You. Certainly. Certainly. We'll stop on the on the way to Albuquerque. On Albuquerque. Albuquerque. K O I Albuquerque. <laughs> That's how you have to say it. So you guys, uh, the the tunnel it opens up into a uh, a vast grotto enclosed by by gleaming ice. Consigned to this frozen spelter is a fantastic city sculpted by ancient magic and illuminated in a haunting in a haunting way by green and purple light that shed no warmth. The city is slightly tilted, its spires leaning away from you as though recoiling from your presence. You stand atop a causeway of frost-covered ice that stretches towards the city like the dead, frozen tongue of some hideous behemoth out of whom's mouth you've just stepped. Don't say. Maybe we have uh, before we come down here. So does Obsidian have the warming stone on him? Maybe level up. Does Two there look to be a shelterish type of place amongst those buildings close? Yeah. Like I mean you can see that there's like windows in this tower thing yeah. here. Now, does it look like a businessy type thing or like an abandony type thing? Uh, you don't see much movement going on. You don't see like people milling about or anything. Okay, because that's what I was worried or I mean hoping for. You know, go get a room or something. But if like, we, like... we run the risk of disturbing some monster lair if we go over there, but also it would be a place to rest. Level up. Yeah, let's go rest. So, what do you guys think? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that looks like a you good really place. Really don't have to right any where else to go. I say we go. Yeah. Okay. Or this place right here. Either we go there and rest, or we go. Just this this one on the right, just because it's closer. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll yep. go. Yes. We'll go to the closest shelter-ish looking thing. Whatever that is. Let's split up. Let's explore and meet back here in 10 minutes. <laughs> no. Stop saying that. <laughs> All right. So um, I'm going to I'm gonna put a... Uh, let me... I need to find an asset real quick. Go. So uh, I'm going to give you guys a map. All right. Oh shit! Look at that. It's all tilted Batman style. I don't it's like fallen city. Well, mm -hmm. it says the tomb that is Ithrin. Yeah, no, this map says Necropolis player map. Yes. Yeah, it's a it's a necropolis. It's like a city. It's like a town, a village, a necropolis. Dead. 
All right, let's go to like just oh. what the first building right here or something. Uh, let's take a peek as you guys uh, move that way. Uh, there's okay. a pin on the map. Uh oh. Green oh, and purple lights okay, cast north. an otherworldly glow upon the frost draping the silent city. Flying spires, broken domes, and steeples leaning at odd angles surround a huge citadel. At the foot of the causeway, a giant statue lies prone and motionless, its surface gleaming with rime. Does it have a head? It does have a head. Okay, not the guy. Uh, uh, do, do you guys uh, kind of get up there and take a look at it? Yeah. It's uh, it looks like now this it's prone, and lying next to it is is a big like long handled hammer, like very long, and uh, and this thing is a statue of this thing. Sweet Jesus, what the fuck? But it's on the ground. <laughs> oh my God! So, uh, can we tell if so? It's no, 20, it's twenty-one foot tall. Oh my God! <laughs> Who thinks of this shit? Don't one of you uh, paladins have clericky, wizard, sorcerer, wiz, warlock freaks have something to detect <laughs> magic or detect evil or something? Well, I have to first decipher what you just asked us, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it was 12 to questions. That's 12 questions. Uh... Paladin will, will use divine sense. Uh... I have detect magic as a ritual. I have detect No, evil. the statue does not appear to be a celestial fiend or undead. Is there a way we can tell if it is in fact a statue or if it is a petrified... Like it used to be one of these things and got petrified. Absolutely, absolutely, there is a way. And what way is that? I don't know. That's up to you guys to figure Stone it out. Stone the flesh. No, no, don't do that. Run, can fuck. you target it? <laughs> that would probably run. Work. Can you target it with your Eldritch Blast? I can certainly try. I'll target it. That's the new way to <laughs> Does... cheat to see if it's a creature. Okay. Oh, yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't appear to be a creature. Well, okay, then we don't need to worry about it. Uh, Gideon will use common sense. Yet. Wait, <laughs> did, if I throw in that, does that make Perfect. it a little yet? It doesn't appear to be a creature yet. Here's another clue. The name of the picture is Statue. <laughs> so there's that. But it looks upright and active to me. Fucking fuck. Yeah, man. well, that's that's the name that I gave it. Oh, okay, got you. <laughs> I see what you're doing, trying to trick us. So that uh -huh, is just uh -huh, disturbing. Uh -huh. Like mo mo monsters are, the artwork is usually, but the, I, I'm always the the ones that have mouths where they shouldn't be. Those are always <laughs> the freakiest ones to me. Do more than one uh, of you have mage hand? Uh, uh, yes, you hear you hear uh, you hear the 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 uh, professor scant in the back. Have, of, yes, and you hear her say yes, and then you hear. Somebody else say yes. The, st the statue says yes. Out of its we can pick up stomach. 15 pounds. If all of you who have it can drag this hammer away from it when it wakes up, at least it won't have the hammer. Maybe Yix can go over there right, as well. See, the statue help. at the end of the causeway is a 20 foot, 21 foot tall. Uh... There's no way its hammer is small enough that mm -mm. three. No, that hammer is way more than the less. sledgehammer is not stone, and he is not holding it. The sledgehammer is real metal. So, if I just walk over mm -hmm. and just pick it up and it see how much it weighs. Like try to pull it away. Certainly, mage hands to try and pull it, or have Yix go try and lift it. Well, let's see. It does. Ha, 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 a hammer weighs how much? Does that anybody like have right a hammer there at the edge? I have a bed line. 
hammer, like a five pound sledgehammer, would be a normal medium sized. It does D6, right? A regular hammer to, uh, let's see what a war hammer. D8 weighs two pounds. So this thing does six D6, so it's pretty big. I'm going to say it probably, yeah, it probably weighs less than 15 pounds, right? Don't you guys think? I would think then if it's <laughs> only that. The oh, lady of the lake right. held her, her arm clad in the pure <laughs> Simric's semi All right, so yeah, this is a. <laughs> A, a sledgehammer for a, a huge creature. So you said that this is like at the edge, like right over here. Uh, hold on, I got ten maps open. Uh, it is. What are the causeway? Well, where are your tokens at? Actually, it it probably is a little closer to the end there. Yeah. Down here somewhere okay. is where the where the well, statue is. Drag the hammer off the there. edge. What's the big deal with this hammer? Why do we? That's quite a. Uh, why do we care about that? Quite a drop there, so just shove it over the edge and carry on with life. I was just saying, we grab the hammer. If it, when it wakes up, it won't have a weapon. Oh. Can you hold it. Hold yeah, it you can just pick it up and toss it away or something. Or we could just leave it. We could just continue on. Like, why do we? Statue, second artist. Let's <laughs> continue. Continue. We'll throw the hammer over the edge and then keep on going. Yes, we'll throw the hammer. First of all, we need to split up. Don't forget. In large spell says if you increase the size one, the weight increases by eight times. So if you take a normal size one and multiply it by eight for a large, and then by another eight for a huge, it's 64 times the weight of a human hammer. And how much so it weighs 128 weight? pounds. Yeah. It weighs 128 pounds. Which is easy for almost any of us to pick up and just move it. Might not be able but, to yeah. swing but, it in battle. But not but... the mage hands. Not the mage hands. No, not mage hands. Hold on. Just... Uh, for, for, for Bill, he'd have to set down all of his rations. And then... <laughs> <laughs> you can drag it. You don't need to lift it. So just drag it over the edge, and then uh, we can... So these, uh, when you guys get like next to the statue, uh, you can see that the statue's got like, especially around his legs and and his lower body, like a whole bunch of uh, stab wounds, like piercing stab wounds in it, and the uh, there's also some uh, small. Uh, hand crossbow coral sticking out of it. The troll kill and then, and then some uh, some spell damage done to it. Some Magic missile through here. Maybe they tunnel the f up into this place. You don't know how it got turned to stone though, but. Okay, so not our problem right now. What about let's go let's yeah, let's go let's let's go. Let's move on. Let's go see about the the closest thing that you guys can see would probably when you get up there is probably the spire over here. Uh you can that see that it has uh, <laughs> than... Well no, I mean 'cause you 'cause you had to walk, you know, all the way around the whole thing as you came down, you got a good look at it. Oh, okay. A so... stone walkway leads to a tower. So there's like a little walkway down here and then out hanging attached to the side of this circle city thing is a uh, is a tower. It's pointed roof leaning menacingly overhead and you can see narrow windows narrow windows. <laughs> what Winder. are you doing? Windows. <laughs> narrow wind <laughs> windows pierce its walls. And then you can also see that there are some statues of some flying creatures that are around its eaves. And there's a uh, a doorway at the base that appears to be open, you know, across the bridge. Well, As you guys kind of get down on here. We can check that um, out. Over here, this area right here, these little 
glowy like um fork sticking up you can see the uh uh that those are uh, uh some electrical uh current like static is is crackling across those so that's what that if you zoom in you can see the little electrical stuff it's, they're still crackling active, whatever yeah, they're they're like metal mass, right? They they rise up way up into the air above some kind of it looks like maybe seating area all the way around. Like those are seats or something. Like a, maybe this is yeah. We don't want to take a long theater. Rest of we don't. Uh, not not in there. I don't want to take a long rest in this area. Like oh. I'd be happier going back up into that ice area and then take a long rest and then come back down here. I just don't trust anything down here. Creepy vibes. So oh, go, go, back one, go back one map and take a long rest, is that what you mean? Yeah, go back up, take a long rest at the uh, the trees with the, the dryad or whatever. Okay. That this would cool. actually look like the cities, or the city in the shadow fell that uh, one of the Netherese cities uh, teleported itself into the, uh, or portaled itself into the Shadowfell to save itself from falling when the rest of them crashed. That's like the only city there. Like I've read a hundred and some odd, 150 different Forgotten Realms books. So uh, you guys are um, going to fall back and uh, decide yes. that uh, before you go wandering around the city, you need to uh, you need to freshen up. You gotta change your socks and yeah. do all right. that stuff, right? Because you're gonna get um, yep. foot stuff if you don't keep your socks dry. Exactly. Yep. Swamp rot. Toes will freeze off. Jungle rot. Whatever you call. Jungle rot. Let me uh, see if there is any random encounter over there. I think I think there's not. It's a pretty good call. Pretty cool. uh, because you guys not only get over there and uh, and your your uh, ability to eat another pair is going to happen too uh, after this rest, but uh. You guys get a long rest. Sweet. And with the long rest, you have reached a milestone. Level up. And you level up. Do it. Nice. Hey. Reaching the city of Yethrin incurs your milestone, so. Yes, it's your turn to take Warlock. No, I already leveled up to ninth level cleric. <laughs> oh, I've got to go drag all the fifth level spells onto my sheet. Fifth level Maybe. spells. Fifth level. Well, spells, you might need Maybe. it with a, with a with a guy with a mouth in his stomach. Rawr. Right, that guy. He's just a stand. Fifth level cleric spells. Nice. Watch this, everybody on stream. Diablo Bob's uh, extension. Do I have to drag over every spell one at a time? No, I do not. I just have to grab this drag list button, drag it over, and it puts all the fifth level spells on my sheet. And it's a beautiful thing. That's it. Last time I did it on Drake's table, it uh, gave me two copies of each one. Oh, let's just see. I have the blue circle right now because it's, of course, thinking about it. Let's go see if it gave me double copies. Um, it did. Now, why does it do that? I don't know. I just noticed it the other day. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's a conflict um, with another is it is it because of Mad Nomad's uh, uh, actions tab thing? I think it is because he added in the code um, to be compatible with mine, and I believe 
he changed how he links into the actions tab to be more compatible. So it's actually double adding. So we need to make sure that we need to like not have that happen. I can't believe I, we I haven't need to gotten more complaints. Spend some time with him to try to figure out what the hell. However, I will Which tell one? you, deleting deleting each. I don't know if it is faster to have not to have to delete each one than it is to drag over just one. I don't know. I don't understand. Mad Nomad's character sheet tweaks. No, no, Mad Nomad's actions tab. Action automatic actions tab. We think is the culprit that. There's is... a couple others that I think it might also. Yeah, uh, well, I'm pretty positive that that's not the culprit. Oh, okay. Well, because we need I to don't figure have out it. what is and deal with it. The character sheet tweaks I do have. Oh, are you saying that you don't have Mad Nomad's automatic actions tab turned on? Not on. Oh well, then I, I don't I even have be. it installed. Yeah, I don't yeah. even have it installed. Because that's an amazing. Uh, you, you want that? The tweaks might. Uh, I'm gonna be working. Like I'm doing a bunch of troubleshooting, trying to get everything solid, right? The action tab one is great when you have players that don't know how to set their sheets right. up it's good it doesn't news. work as good with advanced players who have a specific way they want to do their sheets like you guys are so i don't that's why i don't use Except it for that. but it having, is good if you've got a having said okay. that uh i believe his does conform with my best practice way of doing it uh, but players like to fucking no names diablo bob they like to recategorize <laughs> shit and make it all crazy for themselves I get it, you know, they want their oh most often used at the top or whatever, I get it, but I don't like it. The reason I the reason I'm so particular about standardized way of making your character is that my day is filled with people coming to me and asking me, Oh, why doesn't this work and why doesn't that work? And if I go take a look at it, if everybody did it the same, it would just be so much easier for me, but I gotta com I gotta comply with Everybody's different way they like to do it. All right, so don't forget that you guys get what's it, the Morning Lord steal or something? Oh, yeah, the blessing of the Morning Lord. Ninth level is always boring for most characters. You don't get any. Uh, well, you could eat a pear and see what happens. I'm going to... Uh... I am going to eat a pear. Uh, my character, Zazzy, will eat a pear and see what happens. Do you have a charm on you currently? Um... I you can only have one. I do not. I don't know. I can't remember what I got last time. I don't even know if you did, quite honestly. I might not have. I think it was... I, But I was I playing two characters, yeah, I so I got I from Bob. Oh, here, I'm going to roll. Purple Bear Charm. Bidine. Charm of Lightning Bolt. Charm of Lightning Bolt. Okay, I know what that is. Go to the spells list. I go items. Crone will eat one too, hoping to get rid of that druid craft. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you, you're so upset by the. Uh... <laughs> no, you 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 actually have to use the druid craft up, and then you can eat a new pair. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'll make two of them blossom. <laughs> <laughs> because it, it, it says uh, this charm must vanish from the creature before he can gain any more charms by eating purple pears. So, uh, wait a minute, why? So, a one to two is what Grun's gonna roll. Yep, a oh! three <laughs> vicious mockery, the next best one. <laughs> Can I put those in the party sheet? Did that work? 
Why is there still stuff in the party sheet? That's what I want to know. Oh, uh, uh no, my bad. I yeah. did. Zazie did get a charm last time. He also got charm of lightning bolt, just hasn't used it. So I'll, oh, just, okay. I'll just keep that. Gotta remember I have that. I put the uh, Charm of Vicious Mockery in the party sheet. There's also, uh, I, I'm assuming somebody took the, oh, Rob drank the wine, so that's gone. Not Rob, but Zazzy. There's the brooch in the spell book. Uh, the spell book has been torn up, right? It's gone. Barbania? Uh, not all of it. I gave the rest to Val. There's a. So, do you want of... that spell book out of the party sheet, no, or do you I... want me to delete it? No, you can take it out and just use the note to add to Val if you want to add those spells to her. I already made scrolls of the. Uh... One use items, basically, of the spells I could use. And no one wanted the brooch, the drow whole house symbol. If no one else wants it, I'll put it in the bag of holding. I mean, when you get to town, you can sell some of the stuff, you know? That's a good idea. Don't forget to do your D&D uh, &D Beyond. Well, we could tear him out. Tear out the. She's not going to use the spells. I mean, everybody. The sanguine dice. Well, you, what are the crap they try to? Shoot? I think you should hold on to all the scrolls for now, uh, and then just in case you guys want to use them, and then when you guys want her to put them in her book. Which really she can't do very well hanging around in a cave, you know, properly. Right. Well, I mean that I made that note that has a list of the spells that say you so you can take it out of the uh you know, Yeah, no, that's fine where it's at. I'm just saying that you guys have access to those scrolls. They're not okay. in her bag, you know. They're wherever you have them. Anybody else want to pair while I got it open? No. <laughs> no. All right, so you guys are gonna uh, get up and uh, and uh, get ready and go back into Yethrin. Yeah. Where do you want to go? Well, now that we've rested, we can explore, right? Let's go. We want and to gained to a the... level. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Do we want to go to like the main, like go look straight at the whole middle of the thing? Or do we want to scout out as we first that or go a completely different way? Do we want to go to the pond of mushroom high drugs or whatever that is? <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> you guys remember you have this image too i mean pretty it's pretty uh pretty good image of the funny the they, oh. they don't if you look at them side by side they don't doesn't look i mean it's similar right but it doesn't look representative of what the drawing is this the the big map uh looks way bigger than the picture that's for sure yeah but I would the... say let's start at the middle and explore that first. Okay. That would seem to be the most important place. Yeah, let's go to this uh, middle here. That is. They're gonna like come down this way. Yeah, just straight. Yeah. So when you guys get, a, you know, a good look at the uh, this area here as you go by, you can clearly see that it it's some kind of a uh, stadium. Uh, it's the the air around the the theater, the amphitheater is charged with static, 
They can see cracked steps descend to the stadium floor where a tiny glittering object rests on a pedestal of black stone. Three metal masts, masts rise from the arena like gigantic tridents, each one emitting a low hum. The branches of each trident are 25 feet off the ground and extend 50 feet into the air. as you guys go by it uh this is right here you gotta walk right past it uh is a tower that reaches upwards like a talon it's stonework studded in chiseled runes runes a blue light shines from its highest window hmm. there's a blue light in there well now Somebody might be home. Somebody might be home. Maybe they want to talk to us. Yeah, I'll hex you for that one. So Bill is up front. What are you doing? Are you walking by it or are you going to stop at the tower? Well, um, I guess I'll pause at the tower and ask the guys, the, the other members of the group, um, do you want to continue or check it out? I think we need to question the orb. Maybe he knows what we need to see here. Or can you know, He might be a tour guide. Let's question the orb. So uh, Valley uh, pulls him out, and he's like, "Oh, uh, no! Uh, what, what, um, what, where are we? Uh, we're here." Oh, nice! He looks around. The Yethrin. Oh. As the DM gets back to the beginning to see the story. Floor. Why am I lagging? Thought he had a little blurb he could read out here. It's not. He says, uh, Yethrin, uh, Yethrin's a city uh, that uh, has crashed from the sky. There was uh, the leader of Yethrin was Iron Lonerthus. He probably says it better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. You do now, though. Yeah, it. you admitted it. <laughs> A real Arthas, a real a real Arthas. That's Arthas. That's Get to roll the R. A real Arthas. I'm gonna I'm gonna read this to you guys. Uh, right, you may not know this is entirety, but it, it's 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 kind of good. So. After using the Yethrin Mithilnar to lift the enclave of Yethrin into the sky, Yeren Larthrius and his apprentices travel to the frozen north in search of relics of Astoria, a begone empire of magic-wielding giants that waged war against the dragons 40,000 years earlier. 
After many fruitless excavations, they found a large stone spindle bearing strange sigils at the bottom of the Sea of Moving Ice and brought it back to Yethrin for the study in the fall of minus 343 DR, the year of chill tomorrow. During one of their experiments, something went wrong. A flash of powder from the spindle caused the Yethrin Mithral to shut down, which in turn caused the city to fall out of the sky and crash into the ice below. The inhabitants of Yethrin had only a few moments to react as the city fell. Eurantus conjured a doorway to magical demiplane and stepped through it just in time. As Yethrin settled into its icy grave, all magic in the city became undone for a brief time, as though something was trying to siphon it all the way. Siphon it all away. Uh, the demiplane expelled Yethrus in an instance, trapping him here and become uh, part of the city. Uh, some of the stuff you don't need to know. Yeah, that's getting a little too deep. That's too deep, man. That's too deep for you guys. So pretty much something broke, the city crashed, and here it is. That's his, that's um, Professor Skank's opinion as he looks around. He's like, oh, yeah, so yeah. the only way a city could crash is if the Mithilnar stopped working. So that had to be what happened. <laughs> He's been hanging around her too long. He's coughing. I don't know. Been smoking in the backpack. Uh, but you show him the tower. He says that this is uh, one of the uh, one of the many towers I see scattered around here. He says uh, if you let me get closer, I can try to see what those runes are. Well, How close are you guys to the tower? Him. Let's bring him over. Bring him as close as he needs. Well, obviously he needs to be like visual range, 30 feet. He says, "Ah, oh, this this is a very powerful aura of abjuration. These runes appear to cover every inch of the tower's exterior." So it's a big tower. Uh, there's a just a uh, a a door in the front of the tower. There was a room inside where we came from that was warded with a bunch of runes. Are they the same type of runes? Yes. Similar looking stone, too. I don't. I, I'm. I'm not remembering this spin. What are you? Remember, Remember we had to break through the, the tower. And Misty you gotta... stepped into the room and then right. finally broke through it to get through. There were runes all over the wall. That's right. That's right. There, and they were shifting and moving, weren't they? Is this thing glowing like that? Isn't that the Mithalar up there. Yeah, the tower reaches upwards like a talon. Its stonework studded in chiseled ruins. A blue light shines from its highest window. I still say if there's anything important, the most important people and things would be in the main tower. Let's go there first. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll get yeah. sidetracked and explore every single building in here. Good with that. Okay, I was. You guys are. Uh, Bill's gonna go ahead and use his Eldritch Sight, activate his Eldritch Sight, uh, which lets him cast Detect Magic on himself at will.
Just to make sure that, like, obviously and that's some things are 30 magic. feet, right? Detect magic, yeah. I think. Yes, 30 feet. Just so that way he can detect anything that's magic that's unexpected. Within 30 feet. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for size purposes, I mean, you guys are like. Yeah, we're, we're itty bitty. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, if a magically invisible creature comes walking up to us. As as uh, so far, you haven't mm -hmm. found really much that's not magical. Let's put it that way. I guess I'm blind from the light. <laughs> No, it's just there's a lot of magic. Everything you see is kind of magical to some degree. It was a flying city at one time, built by magic users, you know, using magic. So you guys are going to move towards the center of the, yeah. the deal again? Looking for a way to get into this tower. Uh, well, let's see. Go toward the blue light. Carolyn. So that, <laughs> my daughter Carolyn's on a television set. <laughs> They're here. Greg T. Nelson from Spokane. Uh, it doesn't say if that's open like that or not. You know, see how you can see in there? Is that closed off and you can't see in? Or I don't, I don't think so. All right, so as you guys get, you know, probably about where your token's at, you can see that there's some kind of of field around this this 1,200 foot tall. Obsidian Citadel. You know, it's it's. You can see how tall it is. Twelve hundred feet tall. It rises from the center of Yethrin and dwarfs all neighboring structures. And uh, when you get close to it, there's some kind of field around it. You can see a shimmer uh, around the whole the whole thing, all the way up. And it glows magical. Uh, when you get mind. within 30 feet of it. If if you get within 30 feet of it. Pick up a chunk of ice or something and throw it up against that shimmering thing. Does it do anything? Stone, something like that. Uh, no, it bounces off of it. Yeah. Can I target it? With Eldritch Can you Black? target the shield? <laughs> yeah, no. Doesn't appear to be a creature. So it's this big dome building right here. Right next to us. So I'll reach out and see if I can. What happens if I touch it? Uh, it feels solid to you, like force. Is Yix able to go through it? No. I don't think so, though. Misty step through it, maybe. But can we see I through it? Can... Yeah, you can see through it. You can misty step to a spot you can see. Yeah, but there's spells that can block that. Mm -hmm. of... With your sight, do you see anything connecting it to these towers behind us? To see if it's attaching to the towers. Or what do you just... mean? Like these towers like, look are like those they're... towers emanating it, or is it just kind of freestanding? Is what I'm saying. I believe. No, no. The the shield is like you know just a few feet around the the big tower. You know, like right up against the tower. It's like a force shield around it. 
A shimmering force field surrounds the 1200 foot tower. Obsidian Citadel. I think we need to check this place out because it's like at the foot of this thing, like center. Well, there's is it really a center, is there? It's a like a hexagonal building. And uh, it's got a big glittering dome roof on it. But it also has a door. I may as well. Yeah, uh, when you you guys go like kind of checking it out, it's a palatial hexagonal building rises before you, crowned with a glittering domed roof. The double door on one side stands slightly ajar. Palatial. Pal palace, palatial, palace. Yes. Take down the door. What up, bitches? <laughs> what up, bitches? Mom, I'm home. I'll go open the door. Mate, love. Fuck. Um. So. Let me give you guys a map. All right. This map did not come with adventure. As you're going to find, I had to find a lot of maps for this city. Actually, for almost every single encounter, I had to find a map for. Uh, and let me give you guys. On the map. Uh oh. The graded. I can't. It's just black for me. I see it. The 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 grid doesn't match. There we go. I don't like it. Where's my mouse? Not color picker. Where's your mouse? That's right. right yeah, there it Most is. people have their mouse like that. No, the grid mouse. Oh, the grid thing. There. So you guys are kind of out in the... Out in the street a little. And Obsidian says he goes up, right? Yes, I open the door. Uh, when you look in, uh, you can see uh, that the it, it looks like it might be a museum at one time. It uh, The statues and other objects of art have fallen from their plinths and lie in broken shards across the floor. Uh, you can tell that centuries of exposure has ruined most of the paintings that hang on the walls in elaborate frames. And... Well, it looks like I was Let here before. There's character. destroyed art everywhere. That must mean I was here before. I don't like art. Why did they do this encounter? Who got lazy? There's two encounters, but they're not at the same time, and they put them all in one encounter. I'm telling. I know who did it. I know who did it. Didn't he beg you guys not to yell at him? Yes, yes, he did. <laughs> So let me, uh, because there's no map. That's why there was no map. He didn't have any place to put the map. So why have make two encounters, right? I I can see his point. They didn't give him no maps. But we are also um, 
running up against the nine o'clock deadline. Yeah, we're gonna we're probably gonna stop before we get too far into this encounter. I just want to get it. Oh, loaded. here's who to blame right here: the quality assurance, James Holloway. I agree. I looked at the no. credits. Uh... So you guys uh, open the door and look in, and uh, like immediately you see a couple of uh, Nothics uh, start shoveling about. Now, and, when you uh, say a couple, what is your definition? To me, a couple is two. Uh, he can see two. Oh, we can't see. Maybe the three. Okay. Can you so see then... the spitting? The the mimics? No, you can't see those because you know they're mimics. They're hiding is broken rubble. No, I'm shall just we? Shall we begin the encounter, or shall we stop at a little couple minutes early and start? Who was it that was talking to the other ones? Uh, sorry uh, that you interrupted, Rob. What was that, Rob? Yeah, we're going to stop here uh, in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry he did, too. Um, yeah, I but was what's saying, the question? should we start the fight or not, or just start? No, nah, we'll roll initiative. We'll roll initiative next week. Okay. We'll, we'll start right here on it with rolling initiative. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so some Nothics uh, are wandering around in here, and they, they don't look friendly. They don't look like the other guys. For those of you that don't remember what a Nothic looks like, uh, this is a Nothic. They got big eyeballs. Yeah, so some sure. Zazzy's right sure next to me. See. I'm gonna punch him in the face so I can use my max damage that was bought for me <laughs> before we leave. <laughs> oh, should I also point out that it was also a critical max damage? <laughs> oh, go uh... ahead, man. I remember I mean, when I, he like thunderwaved my can ass get, across I the can room. Give, uh, it is it is a critical max damage, but I can I can give you know if if it's not used you get those points back, Bob. Anyways, you can buy them next time. Yeah. <laughs> see how he got away without getting punched in the face with a critical. That's good. That's I don't think good. he caught that uh, he I'm was reading. reading something there on his phone. <laughs> he didn't catch that he was about to be a victim. No, I didn't know that was I didn't know that was coming at me. <laughs> I did. I did miss that, but but it's Sven, so that's what I would have assumed anyway. But how how could we possibly be together when we we were supposed to split up a long time ago? <laughs> Go different ways. Yeah, what's up with this? <laughs> All of us run back to the to the meeting it. place with a fucking train behind us of mobs. By the way, uh, before next week, uh, Drake, if you could fix that grid, it would go a long way for my own sanity. It is not. Yeah, I, I, here, I, here, I can, I can fix it for you. There, it's there. fixed. It's gone. <laughs> I just turned it off. Actually, I'll, I'll make it. I'll leave it on, but I'll, I'll hide it completely so you can't see it. I'll make but it's it totally... not. It doesn't match up with the screen. You know, it doesn't. It, <laughs> like that. it makes my skin crawl. I can't do there. it. There, that's better. Now my token's getting bigger. I don't know what's happening. All right, so we're going to shut her down here. Yeah, Bob, I'm going to give you your... Uh... Yeah, so uh, we'll pick up right here where oh. we left off next week. And uh, all things Fantasy Grounds tomorrow night. What are, what are we doing, Rob? Oh, so yeah, 4th of so, July. Uh, we're going yeah, to shoot July. some fireworks off in our rooms. We're going we're gonna to not do that because that's illegal as fuck. Um, so, yes, we are going to do it. Uh, tomorrow not is to mention the... it's totally stupid. Yeah, the tomorrow is the uh, celebration of Christmas in July with the uh, the Insanity Bundle on sale. Every every title that we've done in the last five years on sale for seventy five percent off if you buy them all. P.S. It's already on sale right now. You can go get it right now. Um, that's through that's for another twenty five hours. So it's through ten p.m. tomorrow night Pacific time. And uh, we'll, of course, uh, give one of those away tomorrow and talk about stuff and have a good time. And that's that. That's what we're doing. And I'm going to be so full because I'm going to a party at 5. 
and I, I got to be back home by eight. So three hours of picking out, then I'm coming home. That's how you do it. That's, That's it. What you're supposed to do. That's it. It's done. D and D is done. Everybody always wants nice to strike. know what's so special about Fourth of July. When I was a kid, Fourth of July was hot dogs and hamburgers, and I always look forward to that. To me now, that's just every day. So Fourth of July to me, shit to me. It's the same thing. It's the when the neighbors burn down the yard. That's all it is. I'm making dirty rice. Dirty rice. Random people uh, turn around in your driveway, Rob. That's also every day. Every single day. All right. Um, thank you, Drake. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, players. Question, Rob. Uh, oh, yes, will the giveaway be before uh, uh, the Charlie says, will the giveaway be before the sale ends for Insanity Bundle? The giveaway will be before the sale ends, yes. So if you're hoping to win it rather than buy it, you can try to do that tomorrow. And then if you don't win it, but you still want to buy it, it will still be available till about um, three hours after the show ends. Yeah. Good question. All right. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Drake. everybody. Stream. Yep. Thank see you guys uh, next week, Drake. I'll see you tomorrow night. Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. Very good. And that's how you do it, everybody. That's how you do the D's. And all the other D's. With uh, it's again, if you put them together, it's D and D. All right, so let's switch to slides like that. So yes, next week on Saturday we will be playing this game on the tenth, and then of course tomorrow night is episode one sixty five Insanity Bundle Sale and Giveaway. The Insanity Bundle is currently on sale. If you would like the link to that, I shall put it in the chat right now. There it is. Uh, once again, for those of you that don't know what that is, that's every title, all 415 titles that uh, I and Team 2E have created. And um, it it uh, it allows you to purchase them all for 75% off, which is insane. Uh, if you already own certain amounts of titles, those are, of course, removed and you don't – uh, you know, they're counted in what you already own and you don't repay for that. So you only buy what you don't have all at 75% off. So if you don't own very much, it is a hefty price tag, I will tell you. Uh, if you don't own anything, it costs like $810. Uh, but most people own, you know, over the last five years, if you've been buying, if you're a brand new person, it's going to be a hefty thing. But you're buying $3,200 some dollars worth of stuff for 800 bucks. So it's a good deal. It's three quarters off, 75% off. Anyway, join us tomorrow night on the show if you want to try to win it. Uh, speaking of winning, let me give everybody the end of stream rewards here that we always do at the end of every show. At the end of every game, I should say. I don't do this on Sundays, but every time we play a game, uh, give away some chat XP. There you go. Just like that. Also, uh, I would like to remind everybody what you can do to participate in the channel. Now, I would like to also say, if you are a person who only comes and watches and that's all you do. Yeah, Bane's only 660 bucks. Uh, so that, that probably means that, that that roughly means you have about 25 percent of the items, give or take, uh, is probably what that means. Uh, good for you. Um, in other, uh, so what I was saying is, if you are uh, just watching and you you know you don't cheer bits or you don't subscribe to the channel or you don't um, you don't uh, uh, buy any of my deal, you know you don't do anything and you're just here watching, that's perfectly fine. Uh, all I really care about is that people are having a good time and you know hanging out and. Get to watch D and D. If you can't play, you can at least watch. And in our channel, you get to uh, you know you get to buy stuff in the chat to affect the game. So that's what we're trying to do here is just foster an environment. And I've been streaming for five years. I really still don't know what I'm doing, but I can make it work. We had a little uh, emergency right before today's stream. The sound wasn't working. Anyway, um, but if you would like to participate other than just watching, here are some things I just put in the chat. Uh, the Almighty DM says, here's all the things you can do to help or be involved with the channel. 
you can uh, type any of those words. You, you type exclamation point and then the word, and it'll give you the proper URL to accomplish that task. For example, you can come to our Discord server. We have over 2,100 people talking about D&D uh, 5e, talking about Fantasy Grounds and DM Skill 24-7, all day, all night, all across the planet. All the time. You can also go to my Patreon page. Uh, I only have about 24 Patreons currently, and there's levels of $1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 10. So there, it's, if you want to do the $1 one, it's there for you. You can also cheer bits and subscribe to the channel or resub. And if you do that uh, during the show, you will attack the bit boss, which cheer is bits. currently Drake cheer bits in the stream. Thanks attacking. for the cheer bits. The bit boss is currently uh, Diablo Bob at 1950. Thank you, Drake. Drake always uh, attacks the bit boss when I mention it after the show. What if I mentioned it six times? Would he do it six times? I don't know. I don't want to take advantage. Drake takes any. Uh, you can also go to the DMs Guild and check the items we have for sale there. And of course, buy the Insanity Bundle before 10 p.m. tomorrow night at a huge discount for everything. Yeah, uh,. Charlie says his was 717 when he priced it. So today's sales on the DMs Guild, a normal day is about 225 bucks in 2021. That's been the average. Today should be higher than normal because I did put that insanity bundle on early. Uh it's at 277, which is higher than normal, but seems should be a little higher. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. Because uh, the Facebook and Twitter announcements don't go out till tomorrow, so they, I, I just, I in my Discord, I told people it was on sale, and then maybe if you, if you went to the DMs Guild and clicked on a bundle, you would have noticed that it was on sale. But I'm actually, I'm actually saying on Facebook and Twitter tomorrow that it's on sale, so maybe a few more people. Also, you can go to the YouTube channel; that's free. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel; We've got over a thousand videos there. Also, you can follow me on Twitter or check out the Facebook page. As a reminder. I do sometimes put uh, different sales and different coupons and different things like that across all the different places. So I might do that on my Patreon channel in my Discord, which you're only in that channel if you're a Patreon. I might do that on Twitter for everybody, but you're only going to see it if you're on Twitter. I might do it on Facebook for everybody, but you're only going to see it if, if you're on Facebook. I might do it just in the regular Discord channel where everybody can see it, but you're only going to see that if you're on my Discord. So I, I very often will sometimes put like buy one, get one or some kind of discount or something. Something's always up my ass, everybody, and I do something. Uh, so you got to try to follow me on all the uh, – on all the socials. I don't really have an Instagram presence. I'm on Instagram. And I'm on Snapchat. I'm on all the stuff the kids are on. But I don't, I'm don't. i not on TikTok though. Because I don't want the Chinese in my backyard. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, but I don't. Ooh, TikTok. What am I going to do? Dance? No. I don't think so. Plus anything I do. <laughs> Rob Tui can't do anything in six seconds. It's got to be. You got to give me some time. Anyway. Anywho. That is all of what I say. Is that it? I think that's it. Oh wait, let me turn on my let me turn on my camera outside so I can see if anyone's in my front yard. I'm that old man now that sits in his office with the video camera pointed out to the front. And if I see I just found out I just got a letter in the mail. They're gonna build 139 houses next to me. Like I live in a na I live at the edge of a neighborhood and then there's literally nothing at the edge of my neighborhood. And now they're going to put 139 more fucking house. I've lived here three months, four months. I'm going to have to move soon. I got that. I saw that. I was pissed. Oh, God, I was pissed. I am pissed. I'm pissed. Okay. Front looks good. The bushes are burned. Uh, I, I, I was gone for six days, and somehow my bushes burned. So, like, the western side of all my bushes are orange or brown because they got burned by the sun. I don't fucking know how that works. What they did. Oh, that guy's lawn across the street looks like shit. Wow, he's not even watering it at all. I don't know, the Homeowners Association, which hasn't kicked in yet because not all the host houses are occupied. I don't know why any of you give a shit about any of this. Uh, the Charlie says, now we can all live by... Oh, yeah, you guys can move here. <laughs> Listen, if all the 139 families that moved in to my neighborhood when the houses are built were all D&D people, I wouldn't have any complaints. I'd love that. It'd all be like-minded gamers. Who probably leaned a little toward the blue side. Most gamers lean toward blue rather than red, even though I live in the middle of a fucking red cease. 
I'm in a blue state, but my area is all red. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Whatever people do. If you want to be QAnon, you go right ahead. You do whatever you need to do. If you want to follow Matt Gates and Marjorie Taylor Greene and think that Donald Trump is the leader of your party, that's on you. You can do that. That's, as they say, you, it's a free country. You can do whatever you want. Um, probably not going to have much in common with me, though. So, oh, here's a guy. Now, does he turn around in my driveway? Now, here, let me show. Can I show this to everybody real quick? Oh, let me see if I can get it on the screen on time. Let me see if I can do it. Yep, he's turning around in my fucking driveway, asshole. Fuck you, fucker. Yeah, see? I, but I don't have my sign out there, to be fair. I don't have my sign out there because it uh, it falls over in the wind. And I got to put a sandbag. On. Anyway, you guys don't give a shit. Um, as a matter of, oh, here's my Star Wars screensaver. I got it on all three monitors, Star Wars screensaver. Uh, all right, good gaming, everyone. <laughs>